Hello friends, welcome back once again in Satisfactory. Last time we had a fun time doing a whole bunch of uh, truck automation. Got some of that stuff nailed down and today the focus is trains. I know uh, we've promised that for quite some time, <clears throat> but we do have all the materials necessary to at least uh, build the stations and the train itself, or the start of the train. And we just have to build all the track stuff and figure out how to do uh, return loops and all that fun stuff again. So we'll uh, we'll get into all that, but it's good to see you guys. Battery Smooth, Wholesome Love, Rick, uh, Marina as well. Welcome, welcome. Glad to see you. We got to move a bunch of stuff around here. We got this, uh, I think this is impure iron. Yes. Uh, we'll get rid of that. Get that out of here so we can put other fun stuff uh, where that goes. Uh, train station's probably going to have to go somewhere in this general area. <clears throat> Depends on how we're going to do our uh, return loop. If I can get away with doing that as uh, just a loop, or if it has to be an entire like track circuit, that's going to be different. We'll see. Return loops with real loops? Uh, like a roller coaster? No, unfortunately. So now I gotta see. This is full, but it's not going. Um... Ah, the problem we've run into is that this is uh, this is clogged. <laughs> we need to have a uh, a doohickey. This thing, the uh, awesome sink. Got to build one of these, so all the extra can go away. So let's do that. Just make ourselves a uh, little pad here for it. Probably going to have to do... Uh... Okay, no, it's actually sorting this, kind of. Oh, because there's, there's too many screws. Uh, no, you, you cannot have the trains go inverted, unfortunately. There is a maximum slope uh, that they're able to handle. So i got to figure out what our... Uh... What our strategy is going to be to get all this stuff out of here, because I think the way this is set up, probably, probably not ideal, because we're not using all of the materials. So maybe what we should do instead, because it seems like the screws are the main, uh, the main culprit here. Find some sort of way to uh, get rid of all these screws, or at least use them appropriately. We have this mess with the uh, rotors. Uh, we did finish all of our uh, versatile framework. We're trying to get all the stuff to do modular engines right now. This guy's making smart plating, which we need to make the uh, modular engines. And I've got quite a few of these. If we're going to make 500 modular engines, we have to have 1,000, uh, which is 20 stacks of 50. And right now we have 6.5. So that's... Uh, going to be a process for sure. Uh, I do think we can... Uh, I always want to call it turbocharge. No, it's overclock. We can do that. Uh, we can figure out where we can steal some of those from. Because this is full of modular frames, which means probably this has backed up. Uh, I got the heavy modular frames. Take those out. Oh, what do you know? It's screws. Well, guess what? We just solved our problem here. Because I've got to get these screws out of here. There's way too many screws. And that is set to be a splitter. And guess what we have access to right here. Let's actually check and see uh, what we can uh, make. Okay, mark three. Yeah, I can just set this to come all the way out here. It's going to clip a little bit, but um, I think we'll be okay. And which one of these was I actually... Uh, Turning them to screws. I, well, I guess if they're both empty, it doesn't matter. But for uh, all intents and purposes, let's just do... No, not Mark II. We'll do Mark three. Hey, Josh. Efficiency for the efficiency gods. Yes, that is indeed a satisfactory experience. Good to see you. All right, let's just hook this thing up here. I love spaghetti. Yeah, here we go. So that's going to keep that fed, and it should, I believe... Uh, allow us to uh, keep this running. We just have to get more steel pipes, which I I guess I technically do have most of a stack of those. 
but we'll go grab some more. I'll get this filled up so we can make more heavy modular frames because we do need those to make things as well. Take a look at our other recipes. Uh, the adaptive control unit is what needs these. And, you know, we also use these for a ton of other stuff later in the game, so we just want to make a bunch of them while we still can. Need to make another manufacturer so we can start making the modular engines. Because uh, as it stands right now, if we have a good selection of motors completed, we might actually be able to make a dent in this today. Maybe a little bit. We'll see. But I also don't remember what I have set up in uh, half of these areas here. So let's... um. Oh, good. Motors are there. It needs rotors. Which uh, I think the problem with the rotors was this wants 10, but I can only make 8 because that's uh, that's just what I have access to over there. So we'll need to make another rotor assembler. Ah, so much fun. But we'll get that taken care of. Should not be a problem. Uh, what I will do right now is I will take some of this plastic out of here because I need to free up some space. Uh, the only thing we can go into our uh, little research hub and do is, I think, the gas mask, but I don't have mycelia, so we can't really do anything with that anyway. So let's go get some steel pipes, and we can put those in the manufacturer for the heavy modular frames, and then we can uh, maybe figure out what we're doing with our uh, train stuff. All right, you can't drift this like you used to be able to. That's too bad. And why is this guy just chilling here? Is he out of gas? That's probably what it is. Yes! It is, in fact, out of gas, which means we need to go get more gas. Well, we can go do that in a second. So this should be full, and it is good. So we'll go drop this off, go grab some more of the packaged fuel. And uh, get that set back up. When the train comes over here and goes between the oil area and this, uh, we can automate that very easily with our smart splitters. All right. So now I've got... There we go. Uh, just make sure this has enough fuel to get over there. And it does. It's almost full. So problem solved. I'm just not going to have any for my jet pack. Well, I don't need the jetpack right now anyway. Yeah, so that's what we're doing there. Uh, this will need to be... Wait, hold on. What's up here? Oh, okay. I'll leave that alone. I don't need wire right now. Uh, but this will have to be adjusted a little bit to uh, fit our road structure. Other than that, uh, we'll probably just build the train uh, all the way out here and then curve through that little formation right there over to the oil area. I don't know if we're going to be able to actually finish all of that today, but we are going to try and get as much as we can done. Or we can crash into a rock. That's fine, too. Yeah, sometimes you do that. He ends up sitting on you, and then you can't move. It's unfortunate. We also have to fix this mess, uh, getting the car up here. Probably should actually spend some time doing that, but uh, we're on a mission here. So our packaged fuel, assuming this is all running correctly, which it looks like it mostly is. Uh, packaged fuel we should be able to get from up here, or at least without too much. I didn't drop off the steel pipes. That was uh, an unfortunate oversight. But that Oh, we already had some in the car. Cool. Well, that makes this a little easier then. I'll just go grab another... Uh, another stack and we can be on our way back oh I can't because I don't have room all right um, what can I put in here or maybe I should just get rid of the plastic I have the awesome sink over here right it's not hooked up to anything why did I do that 
Okay, that's making empty uh, canisters. Is this out of plastic? No, it has plastic. Ah! Ah, it's taking the rubber and feeding it back into itself. So it can then send the plastic out. Well, we'll give it a little bit of help here. This is not really the ideal solution here, but we're, uh, we're working on it. We're getting somewhere. Hello, Cowface. It would be sane if I went to sleep, but it's me working on some more... So yeah, uh, th it's, that's just how it is sometimes, isn't it? Able to set up your coal plant. Good. Glad to hear it. That can be such a huge pain the first time. I don't, know, I don't think you were watching these streams when we first set ours up, but it was a... Uh, shall we say a challenge uh, to get all the, the water and stuff, especially to feed correctly. But if you have stuff set up in a... Uh, a good manner then it can be quite simple it's just the whole the pain of getting the water to the coal plants is the uh, the biggest issue saw the vods my condolences <laughs> now we had a good time i think the area that you were talking about building that in is a, a good spot to do that because you don't have to have the water go all over half the map Watching this game kind of feels like my, watching my dad work on the car. I'm not really sure what's going on, but I'm glad to be here. Yeah, I feel that. Problems being murdered by hogs over and over again. It really helps if you have the, uh, they call it the Xeno Basher, like the big sword thing. But I don't know if that's locked behind stuff that you have to have coal to get. I genuinely do not remember. But once you have that, it's a whole lot easier because you can kill most things in two or three swipes versus the uh, the little uh, the taser thing, the prodder, it takes considerably more, like four. Yeah, but once you have the mobility aids, it just gets incredibly easy to navigate the map and take care of uh, the extraterrestrial life. Yeah, they'll butt you off of stuff. It's super annoying. We got our screws going in, and it's backed up. Nice. Very good. Now these are in here. That's going out. Should hopefully get in here. Why can't I click on anything? There we go. Yep. Looking good. Got two more. I can pop out here. Cool. So we'll let that go for a little bit. Uh, remember our recipe for the modular engine is pretty simple. We just have to grab a bunch of rubber and bring it over here and then set up another manufacturer for it. Which, given the amount of time it's going to take to do this stuff, I probably should have already done. But you know how it goes. So what is, what is the one coming in here? Is that... Ah, that's the rotors. Two rotors per minute going here and then... Uh, the rest of them going there, this is only making 10 per minute. That's why, because it's sending the rotors over here as well. Okay, we're not really going to get away with not uh, not doing that. Oh, now I need more steel pipes to actually build stuff, because I got rid of all of my stuff. Yep, good job, me. All right, is there anything I can get rid of here? Um, I should turn the hog remains into... Um, DNA, whatever. I should have picked up those other ones too while I was over there. I had forgotten that was a thing. But let's grab the other fuel out of the car. That was one of the main reasons we went over there. I keep forgetting. Yeah, we should have a couple. Nope, get out of the car. I want to open the workbench. There we go. Grab that. Okay, that's already empty. Okay. All right, so we'll just put the, uh, oh, I forgot. I, uh, I can't, I can only have one stack at a time because I have to have the, uh, the actual input for the fuel has to go into, uh, wait a second. Is that the input there? Did I already solve this problem and then completely ignore the solution? Yes, I think I did. All right. That's, uh, how did I, aha, yes, I, uh, hmm, I, I did a dumb 
the, this is going to back up here. Hey, Roy. BLT sounds pretty good right about now. I just had some bacon on a turkey burger. Packaged fuel. I got to be able to grab this thing. There we go. There's one packaged fuel inside this smart splitter. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get my collision set up correctly to uh, grab this. On a Mark IV belt, probably not. So let's just remove the belt. That should clear our input here. And then I'll just put the belt back. Maybe. That does not seem to have helped. Okay. Let's, um... Steel beams. Is there any more fuel in here? How could I overlook something so basic? That's incredibly embarrassing. Oh, well. I, I don't want to tear this out and reconfigure it. That's a huge pain. Um, so let's see. The right output goes over here. The center output comes right here. If I make this into a Mark I belt, I have a better chance of actually catching something. Uh, so let's turn that one into any undefined, which will also include the steel beams. That will give us our fuel. And then I think I can just set this back to steel beams. Now that we have the single offending bit of packaged fuel out of there. Hopefully that works. Uh, then Mark IV conveyor belt. Go back in. There we go. Alright. I can't click on that Y. Alright. Now I can put the rest of that in there. And that will feed our fuel. Cool. So that took uh, entirely too much time to fix a problem that I caused myself. What else is new? Let's go grab our uh, uh, steel pipes so we can go actually build train stuff. And not fall off the edge. There we go. And I can put the rest of those that we don't need. We only need, I think, what, 25? Yeah. We'll put the rest of them in that little container and we'll be good to go. Now that one has stopped. Is that because it's out of fuel too? The answer is probably yes. So let's go take a look here. That would, in fact, be what has happened. So let's just pop a half stack in there. And I can just take some from up here. There we go. There's my half stack. All right. So back we go. This is already uh, already backed up because I don't have the pipes really going much of anywhere. I don't even know if I actually finished where there was, we're supposed to... Uh, or I could just fall off again. That's fine. Uh, where? Okay, so I've got those going into where the stators go. How do I always do this? All right, that's a pain in the ass is what that is. All right. Let's not do that again. Did you have fun at the Holy Land with the beavers? I mean, as much fun as one can have at a Bucky's. You know, you, you go in, they have a nice clean bathroom, and you get your uh, you get your dollar super huge soft drink, get your beaver nuggets, and you get out. <laughs> Before you get sucked into the tourist trap uh what what's that uh farmhouse chic stuff they try selling on the other side of the store? Overall, it was a successful uh, successful thing. All right. Oh, I still can't pick those up because I have too much stuff in the way. Uh, but what I was going to say is we need to have a splitter for our steel pipes uh, because this certainly does not need all that much, and we have a mighty need for some steel pipes over here. 
So I think we can do all of that with a Mark 1. I, I just have to have the uh, uh, stuff set up right. So West Coaster, I want to go to Bucky's so bad it sounds unhinged. It is absolutely unhinged. It is... Um, I don't even know the uh, the correct way to describe it. It's just it's a gas station, and a convenience store, and like a tourist trap, all on like, extreme steroids. And it's uh, it's an experience. You know, at, at the end of the day, it's it's literally just a giant gas station. They got a hundred gas pumps. They got a forty thousand, fifty thousand square foot convenience store section. They got a billion flavors of beef jerky. They've got candies. They got chips. They got. Everything you would expect to find in a convenience store, but a lot of it is uh, store brand. But the store brand stuff's actually decent quality. They got the the beaver nuggets, which are like a little, I guess, um, sugar encrusted Cheetos, but they're not cheese flavored. Maybe is the best way to describe it. It's fine. It just has a cult status because you know people on the internet is like, oh, we gotta go to Bucky's. We gotta. Go worship the beaver is like well, it's, it's a gas station. They got they got cheap gas and they got snacks. That's what it is. Elson, what's up? Yeah, it is. Well, th it's from Texas, which should explain all that to you. But uh, it is uh, it is an experience. I say sitting here, I got a little uh, a little stuffed beaver I picked up at one of them a couple years back. The cult is real. Doing well. We're having fun uh, playing Satisfactory currently. Getting some stuff organized or disorganized, depending on your uh, definition of organization. Uh, I have, for better or for worse, gotten some stuff uh, done better than other things. And we're, we're kind of embroiled in this enormous, uh, ever-increasing mess we've gotten ourselves into. So now the uh, the thing that I'm trying to do is minimize the spaghetti while getting uh, all these materials where they have to go, which is not always uh, not always an easy task. As you can see, this is kind of a disaster zone, but it uh, it works mostly. Is got to get stuff where it needs to go. And eventually this whole temporary factory is going to be removed because it's a temporary factory and we'll have everything uh, in a spot where it's supposed to be, but that, uh, that day is not today. We got plenty of other stuff to occupy our time with. Let's put a uh, splitter. I guess it doesn't really matter where the splitter goes, honestly, because it just connects to everything. But that goes there. Oh, no, that's so ugly. Uh-uh, uh-uh. We're not doing that. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to have this look nice. <laughs> At least as nice as one can. I can have this stuff look. So that will go there, and then that can connect. So the, the, at least at least the conveyors don't have to crisscross. Yeah, that's going to send our uh, steel pipes all the way over there to our manufacturer that is making heavy uh, reinforced frames, modular frames, whatever the stupid thing's called. Got to have a ton of those things so we can do everything else. But now it should actually be fully automated, and then we just have to have somewhere for those to go when they're done. And this comes out the back. Why am I... Okay. Why was I floating? That was very strange. Now we just have to have a place for those to go, which we will go ahead and do now. Put in a storage container. Of course that doesn't fit. Did I, uh, I did. I did not give it enough space. I think that should be enough. There we go. Cool. You think Timberborn is much more fun in a stream format? That is true. However, comma, I have played 700 hours of Timberborn in the last year and a half. Not to uh, dismiss your uh, your comment there, but uh, sometimes it's nice to play other things. <laughs> well, you know, 700 hours actually doesn't sound like that much in context, but uh, when you consider that literally every second of it 
is uh, recorded and put on the internet, it is quite a lot. At some point, we are going to do Timberborn streams again, though. Because that was the, uh... That was the last time I did streams, I'm pretty sure, was the diorama, uh, the diorama map where I wanted to have 500 beavers. I don't think we ever got to 500. But we had fun with that. Alright, this is all connected correctly. Um, we're making heavy modular frames. I have enough to do what I need to do. Now I just gotta build tracks. Uh, yeah. That was the that was the deal. Is I needed to get more steel beams. Uh, this is going to become probably five hundred at least. Oh, so I was actually already in pretty good spot here. Let's get the car back uh, where it needs to go. Yeah, I decided the uh, the booster folks could have a custom color if they want. Mostly because I think it was. Um, I forget who it was that asked first. Was it Devilish Fun? It might have been. Let me grab the beams here. Oh, I didn't get rid of the steel pipes. That's right. Now we got to go back and do it again. Uh, tag me in the Discord and tell me that because I will forget while I'm streaming. Or I could just fall off. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, now I should be able to put this in. Yes. Except I, I do still need... Uh, I'll take two stacks of pipes. No, I need more than that. I, I'll take four. Four stacks of pipes. Five stacks. There, now I can build a now I can build a thousand. I think. Now I gotta get stupid car out of here. This thing is impossible to drive on the sand. Alright. Now I can go and get the beams. I already have uh, 216. Now I got 600. Now I got 1,000. 1,000 beams, 1,000 pipes. Hopefully that is enough to build a good bit of our rail network. Then we'll have to come back and fix that later, I'm sure. I cannot drive today. Yes, Avatar is absolutely one of the best things Western animation has ever produced. Did you build a PC or did you buy one? Nice. What'd you put in it? Before we get started with the train, I do need to make sure we have enough fuel. We got a stack and 11, and that's full. We probably should go get some more. This is We're going to be doing this for a while. I still got all this plastic I really don't need. Um, Well, not right now at least, but I can always go back and get more. Eh, I'm not going to worry about it. We'll just go drive. I keep forgetting I need to do something with this to fix our uh, quick wire factory. Well, it's not broken, it just is up on the top of a hill. And if you want to get the stuff out of it, you have to drive up the ramp. We'll get it taken care of eventually.
Nice. Yeah, that's going to be solid. I've not even started looking at parts when I replace this computer. No, but the um, 7600 is going to be a great, great processor for you. I put uh, I built a I built a bunch of computers in 2020 because everyone's like, oh, you're building a computer, build me one. Uh, I put 3600s in a couple people's, and those have been fantastic. So I know that 7600 is going to be even better. I really have enjoyed. Uh, I replaced my 3900 with a 5900, and the uh, the increase in computing power has been unbelievable. Considering it's quote unquote the same exact processor but with a different. Uh, it's got the Zen 3 instead of the Zen 2. That has made a huge difference in doing uh, video rendering. It's been a lot faster. I don't know much about the AMD uh, GPUs these days, but I have heard those are very good. 32 is a good amount of RAM. I wouldn't, I would still have 32, except for City Skylines literally would not load. So I was like, you know what? I'll just go to 64. But 32 was perfectly fine for everything else I was doing. All right, let me grab my... There we go. So are we uh, are we not packaging fuel? It's because we don't have canisters, and we don't have canisters because... Oh, because all of the rubber. All of the rubber is still going. Did I... I guess it's just going... Oh! <laughs> it, it can't send the rubber out faster than the rubber's coming in. Um, that's a Mark III. Do I have enough stuff to do a Mark IV? No, I do not. That is a problem. What is this going to be a Mark IV or a Mark III? Connecting these two. I do not remember. It looks like it's a Mark III. So let's do a Mark IV there. That should feed the stuff in fast enough to where we have overflow. Maybe. It doesn't seem like it's wanting to do that. All right, well, time to play hardball then. We'll just put the plastic in first. Just to get that taken care of. That is needing 30 per minute, so that really doesn't need to be that high. If anything, this needs to be a mark for. I just don't have the materials to do it. So let's see. I probably have the materials to make more Mark IVs, but I'm supposed to be using the beams to make uh, monorail stuff. Yeah. Well, this will be fine. It's not going to need that much plastic to actually keep making these canisters. These, get, these are so fast to make. I just need it to be making literally any amount of packaged fuel. which hopefully we're accomplishing. Yeah, so that's just about full stacks anyway, so there we go. All right, pop this in here. I guess it doesn't want me to uh, do that right. All right, so let's see in the next minute or two if we can get any amount more fuel to come in. Probably not, because that's going to be a very slow process. Is there anything else we want to take a look at while we're over here? I don't think so. Yeah, I, I really need to split these up so we can just have the plastic direct feed into, into this. So the smart splitter probably should be before this giant storage container. Not after it. Or just have these set up as two different things. But that seems to be working fine, so. That's there. Uh, what's in here still? Is there anything? Oh, yes. There is so much rubber. So much rubber. So I'll tell you what. Let's take, since we already have this here, let's take four stacks of this. Because we need this to make our modular engines. Don't forget. Uh, we'll take that back with us, and uh, we'll put it in a container somewhere. That should be okay. Everything is running nicely. Uh, when we get the train in here, we'll have some sort of unload station. Or, well, I guess it's probably going to be load, not just unload. 
But I'm thinking we want to go underneath here. We have all this space. Uh, under the building or under the bridge thing. I thought would be kind of cool. But I guess we'll see what happens when we uh, get in here. Plenty to do to get to that. And since we're already here, and I have a stack assigned to this already, let's um, get this guy out. Why are you not dead? Go away. Get these hog remains and we'll turn these into the, uh, the DNA samples or whatever. I don't think there's any more of those sitting on the ground. Probably somewhere, but... Oh. I guess we got them all. Cool. Yeah, we'll get that turned into points. So we can unlock more stupid garbage. What kind of games do you play off camera? Believe it or not, I don't. <laughs> this is pretty much all I do uh, games these days. Uh, I play whatever is on the channel. Or, uh, I guess, technically, technically... Uh, I have played some uh, some stuff. I don't know, like Train Simulator. I played a couple hours of a week or two ago. It's kind of become a thing where if I'm going to be playing games, I might as well put it on YouTube. But then, uh, you know, you, you get put into a specific box by the algorithm. You kind of can't go outside of it or nobody watches it which I think is kind of happening to the Transport Fever 2 stuff now. Don't really understand why, but uh, it is what it is. I think the game's fun. People aren't clicking on the videos, so I probably realistically shouldn't keep making them. But for right now, we're having a good time with it. Yeah, Portal is... That's probably never going to go on YouTube because it's going to get absolutely murdered by the algorithm and it's going to just ruin my uh, my placement, which is unfortunate. That would probably have to be a Twitch thing which I need to get back into at some point in time. Um, so I'll tell you what. The blueprint thing, I am not blueprinting. I still can't even get into the folder to save or upload these things. Yeah, it just doesn't have a... I can't find... I found the folder it's supposed to be in in the uh, the file system on the computer, but it's, it's not there. So I think we are going to say bye-bye to the blueprint designer. And instead, put a manufacturer there, because this is where our motors are coming out of. Our smart plating we can uh, conveyor over here won't be a problem, and we'll get that taken care of. I have heard Dune is very good. I have never watched it. Did I seriously get rid of all the plastic like an idiot? I absolutely did. Um, did I at least put it in the car? Or am I going to have to go back? Yes, it's in the car. All right. So now the fun part is going to be getting... Uh, <laughs> fun part is going to be getting all this stuff shuffled around where I can actually move anything. Uh, okay, these copper ingots uh, we're making tons of. I have tons of. I'm just going to get rid of those. That's going to be easier to do that. And then I can get our other stuff taken care of. Give me the alien DNA capsules. I have to make the protein first. Yeah, second channel at this point is probably not going to be for any other games. If I made a second channel, it would be for the uh, like informative type content I've been trying to do for the, <laughs> the past six years and just never been able to do it. So that is what I actually went to school for. So, you know, the uh, big expensive proof of you did the thing that I... Uh, have thus far in my life been unable to use. Well, that would be nice if I could actually do that, but... Uh, yeah, any other type of game thing, probably I'm not going to take the time to make videos for it because it takes a lot of time to do that. But, you know, playing it live for a, a smaller audience on Twitch where the algorithm is not going to bury me if I do something even slightly unrelated to beavers, it's probably where all that has to go. Well, you guys pay for school, too. It's just through your taxes and not directly out of pocket. But there, there are many, many gripes I have with uh, the way some stuff in our country is set up. That is certainly among them. 
time. But that's it's one of those things you get told your whole life. Oh, all right, you need to go to go to school and make something of yourself, and then you go to school, and then okay, I'm ready to make something of myself, and they say, ah, nope, not like that. Go figure it out, and then all right, cool. So now I uh, play video games on the internet. Which, not to say that I'm unhappy doing this, this is actually a whole lot of fun and I'm glad I get to do it, but... Uh, if I would have known this is how this was going to end up, I would not have spent so long trying to uh, go and get an education. I would have just jumped straight into making videos. Alright, so we got to put motors, rubber, and smart plating in. Our motors are coming out of this. Uh, how many per minute? Two! <laughs> okay. Two motors per minute. Fine. We'll put that there. Um, rubber will have to come out of a container. Which, uh, the way this is set up, I'll just pop right there. It's not lined up, but we're going to be okay anyway. And then we'll just dump all of our rubber into there. And then the last one is the smart plating. Two per minute. going to take 800 years to get over here, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, this is coming out of here. This needs to be removed because that's what goes into the, uh, what do you call it? Yep, that's the scientific term. This is our smart plating. Have this go out this way. I guess I will uh, be nice and have this come along all the way over here. Have that go there, and then... Pop right into here. And there we go, smart plating modular engine. Uh, it's going to take a very long time to make these, unless we overclock it. In which case, we'll be able to make a blistering 2.5 per minute if we go all the way to 250%. Uh, but let's get this hooked up to power. Um, we can't because that's full. That should really be a Mark II. I wonder if I can upgrade that. Yes. And there you go. Yeah, 15 per minute. That'll be fine. Fill up nice and quick. Smart plating, like I said, going to take forever to get here. But look at it, look at it. Now here we go. We're going to be making these things while we sleep, except not really, because when the game closes, so does the uh, actual production of it. But that's going to be done. And then, yes, but wait, there's more. Uh, we can just belt this directly into the thing from the other side. Oh, uh, this is so hideously ugly. But I don't think we care, because that will work out just fine. When they make the modular engine, it can go into... Oh my god, it's so slow. Go in here and we don't have to worry about it. Cool. So now we can leave that on autopilot for um, a very long time and go back about our business making monorails. Which we still kind of have to figure out where we're going to put. And I probably should uh, put some more fuel in here while we're over here. Yeah. I have to remember to go get a couple more of those. But, I, like I said earlier, I'm pretty sure uh, this area right here is going to be about where we want to put the, uh, the train station. We're going to have to have a return loop somewhere. So if I have the one meter foundation, probably don't need to worry about it, but I would like to have it not just completely floating in the air. Well, I got tons of these steel beams. Why not? We'll just go ahead and... Uh... Oh, I don't have this set in zoop mode. There we go. We'll just have this whole thing. We'll go 10 deep. And then over here. So that... The three wide, I believe, is enough to hold the actual station itself. We will put platforms down. Uh, but yeah, these things are huge. Uh, there's a reason I had not built it yet. Obviously, we need to... Uh, oh, no, it's like three and a half. It's like almost four. Uh, but that's going to have to go... Yeah, it's one way in, one way out. 
the freight platform has the uh, yeah the inputs and the outputs, so that probably needs to be turned around that way. Based on how this is going to be set up, I think, yeah. Yeah, so this is why I was saying we were going to have to move all of the, uh, all of this random garbage we built here. Because pretty much this entire four wide space right here is going to just contain uh, train buildings. And that is going to mean, do I even have space to dismantle this? I guess I do. That's fine. Uh, I'll get rid of that belt. Uh, that conveyor belt, I think, is probably okay to stay. Although, uh, I, I probably should just get rid of it. But it does have a lot of the copper on there that we can just belt into the Christmas tree farm if we ever finish that. That's a big if. Yes, trains. Always. Eternal. Forever. Give me the foundations. All right, so this is. Oh, and I was gonna, I was gonna have these uh, textured something too. I don't have the customizer thing unlocked. I don't think. But I would like the train stuff to be visually distinct. Let's check out the awesome shop here. I have the. Uh, here we go. Customizer. We have coated concrete, concrete, grip metal, asphalt choices. And then we can also have the actual stencil icons or whatever. Let's see, the trains. I don't know what the, uh, I don't know what the deal is with the grip metal, what that actually does, if it's, unless it's just like an appearance thing. Coated concrete, probably regular concrete would be the uh, smart thing to do. So let's just go ahead and buy that just by itself. That'll get rid of our coupons as well. Now I've got concrete material, which means I should be able to just straight up build it that way. I think. My teaching credential program is making me make an iMovie trailer about healthy eating. Never before have I felt so. How do you do, fellow kids? Yes. We much we must reach the youths in ways that they relate to 15 years ago. Good luck. So I guess I do still have to put this in and then paint it. All right, well, that's fine. We'll uh, we'll do that then. Uh, so that's facing that way. It needs to go... Here we go. Ten. Is that still going the wrong way? There we go. Come on, aim. Aim. Go that way. Now, now it finally goes the correct way. All right. All right, so now I got to get my customizer gun, which I don't know that I actually have. Probably should have checked on that one first, honestly. Send help. I don't know that you want me to help you with that. <laughs> All right, so that's nothing there. Did I... See, I don't even know if I actually have one. I've got cartridges. Patterns. Okay. Maybe I just have to build one. Okay, I don't see... Uh, that there. Is it in the MAM? Alien organisms. I really should just uh, go ahead and finish out the rest of these, but I never did. Um, that is not what we're talking about. Mycelia, I have to still go find a bunch of nutrients, nutritional processor. Maybe I should have done that. Power slug's already done. Quartz is all done. That's radio signal scanning. That we probably need to do pretty soon. Yeah, so what's, uh, where's my customizer? I've not actually messed with a customizer before, so I don't know... I just have the color cartridge. Unless that has something to do with the build gun. And I just have to have the color cartridge in my inventory for that to work. Yeah, okay, I did that. Aha! Okay. 
All right, there we go. Let's grab some more concrete then, if that's how that's going to work. Yeah, let's take all of this, honestly. That's going to need to uh, increase its production speed. So it's getting 90 per minute, which we knew it had, and it's making 30 per minute. It's probably about as best as we can do right now, honestly. Oh, we've already made six of our modular engines. That's good progress. Every little bit counts. And who knows? It could take long enough for us to build all this train stuff that we're uh, we're going to be sitting here doing this for that long anyway. All right. So I believe now customizer. Okay. I'm going to need a, uh, a shortcut for this at some point. That looks pretty cool. Oh, I missed one. Oh, no, I gotta... Do I have to go through this song and dance every single time to, like, multi-menu select things? That's gonna be kind of annoying. Anyway, I gotta figure out what the minimum radius of the uh, railway track is going to be. So I know we have to have the train station. I, mean, I guess I can just, you know, delete it and rebuild it. That's not gonna be that big of a deal. But um, this could be a thing that takes a while. Uh, based on my prior memory of all of this. Get up on top of the pole. There we go. Alright, so, uh, to have that centered right there, uh, for exit purposes for the track, it's probably smart to do that way. I, again, do not know what the, uh, I do not know what the radius is going to be for this. So I think it's Probably going to make the most sense for us to go pretty far back. Uh, this train station probably actually has to have the freight platform behind it. Oh, I have to have the platform first. Okay. Uh, but if that is... Yeah, I want that way. If I do there... I wish I could zoom in. While I'm doing this, because this is going to be such a huge pain. I guess I'll just have to do it down low. I want it to line up correctly here. It's just very, very tedious. Alright. No, not there, you stupid idiot. Okay, is that... Uh, it lines up perfectly if you line it up. But it's not lined up. So now let's get rid of that. Is just so picky about placement. There we go. All right, so that's that. Now the problem with doing it this way is the ladder to access the platform is oh no, never mind. It's on both sides. Okay, we can live with that. Uh, this will be our highway with a stupid little dune bump in the the middle. We'll probably have to fix that in a second, but. Now, uh, freight platform has to go either here or here, and I think we're going to want it to go that way. So now I have, let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm not going to have enough room. We're going to have to move these. I am reasonably sure. Yeah, unless we had this go... Uh, I mean, you can, if you really, really hate yourself, you can force the train to do that like super tight turn right there. But then it still has to turn around. It has to have a, a loop of some type. Which I guess, yeah, this does work. Also, your character uh, clips through the uh, the rail. It's funny. It doesn't have any collision on it. I don't know why. But uh, if it's already going slow, that's probably not the worst thing ever to come in like that. Uh, but we're gonna have uh, gonna have some issues with clearance. 
unless we get stuff here. Or maybe we just have to build a whole giant loop thing and not worry about a turnaround. I do kind of like the idea of having the turnarounds, though, because then you only have to have a trunk line going places. Uh, good, cheap to free sources of stock footage or photos. Yes, actually. Go to YouTube or YouTube. Go to Google. Uh, do image search and then type in whatever you're looking for. And then uh, I think uh, somewhere there is either a tools uh, near the search bar or the like the three dots thing you can click on the menu. And then uh, you can do advanced and then you can search by um, licenses. You know what? Let me actually just go into... Uh, let me go into a different tab here so I can search for, let's see, all right, let's search for a picture of beavers. Um, go to images. Yeah, so if you go to a Google search, type in whatever you're looking for, hit tools, and then that'll open up a little sub-menu. Uh, usage rights is going to be the far right. Click on that, and then you can do creative commons licenses, which is, well, also educational stuff is going to be covered by fair use most cases anyway. I went to media school, so I know about media law. I am not a lawyer. Um, but you can click on Creative Commons licenses, and then that's going to give you all the stuff that you can use uh, Creative Commons with attribution, et cetera, so on and so forth. But you can also sort uh, by size. You can sort by color, which if you need to find a transparency is very convenient. Um, you can click transparent, and that'll give you uh, PNG or whatever other formats you can get that have the background uh, clear so you can just place it as like an asset on top of something uh, you can do picture type clip art line drawing gifs uh, when it was uploaded etc so on and so forth so if if you already knew about that sorry <laughs> but that's usually how i will find stuff if i need something like that you are welcome so i believe oh i know what we can do we can uh, just build a straight segment of rail here. Uh, one little bit. I think it will let me... Oh, it won't let me just do one. It's going to make me do all this... Uh, uh, such a pain. Because it's not its not very friendly for, uh, for getting stuff sorted like this. But I th think... Okay, the truck just has to go there. Okay. That'll be fine. We'll just have the, uh, the thing painted. Hey, WM. Um, is this going to copy the... Uh, no, it's not. All right, customizer again it is. Let's just make... Uh, uh, that doesn't have the, uh, the frame underneath. That's why it looks like that. All right, so I'll tell you what. Let's move the platforms up one more. One more thing. We'll come up here. One more thing. Sound like Columbo. Um, move this up here. Is that the right way? Now that's the right way. Facing that way. That's going to allow us to uh, hopefully get a little bit closer to putting a little return loop here. There we go. Cool. So now... I can have this come out to here, which also, crucially, uh, will allow us to put another freight platform in if we need to have more than one car attached to the train, which for right now, probably not going to be the case, uh, because one freight car can pretty much hold this entire volume of stuff, and it's going to take a long time uh, to get out of all that. But now this can come in, make this hilariously tight 90 degree angle you would never see in a real railway. So it would send the trains careening off the tracks. We can have that go a 90 that way and then we can try to produce some sort of a uh, turnaround loop back here. I just do not remember how to do it. So I guess I should have looked this up before we started our stream here. But let's see if we can figure this out. No, I can't type because my phone lagged. All right. And I also can't spell. Perfect. Note to self, kids. Do not try to type on your phone without looking at it. It will not work. And then you're going to get a billion push notifications when you open your phone again. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. 
Don't care. Okay, okay, I do care about that, but I also don't care. Um. Mm -mm -mm. No, I don't want to watch a video. I, I just want you to show pictures of it. I don't have time to watch a video while I'm streaming. Okay, this is fundamentally useless. See, I have this built in the playthrough I was doing years ago. I already have it done, but I've never been able to duplicate it, and I don't I don't know why. Oh, those are having some weird uh weird visual glitchiness from some uh some distance away. Maybe we will uh maybe we'll get rid of this and just uh not not do this this way. Or um make this the four foot four foot the four meter thick one and then oh that actually looks kind of nice suspend it up like that yeah i think we'll just get rid of the foundations and we'll do a uh oh, what do you call uh like pillars or something except the really annoying part about that now is going to be uh you can't uh you can't just blanket select these because they have collision and the stuff's been taken out, so you, you know you can act, like, actually like run pipes through it, which is really cool. But you have to be precision aiming at this thing the whole stinking time. Oh well, I made the choice. I got to deal with it. But now I, I am curious. If I copy this, is it going to copy the formatting too? Okay. And does that look better or worse? than just doing the four the four thick one. The answer I'm almost certain is going to be it's gonna look worse. Okay. Well we'll get it figured out. It would not be one of these streams without me spending entirely too much time to do garbage that nobody cares about. Uh, that needs to go that way. And then I need to customize or paint it. Oh, see, that actually looks nice. Well, relatively speaking. Fortunately, I do not have to remove the stuff I built on top of these because they can just kind of go. They can do their own thing. So if I mass a dismantle stuff in a way that's not going to completely destroy everything, I think we can do this a little bit faster. But you do have to be careful when you have this stuff set up. Can I get on the same level as the bottom of this? I think so. Uh, how did I already forget what the... Uh, dismantle key is. I guess I'm old now. That's fine. Um, Q is build. There's no way. How, how did I already forget how to do dismantle? I swear to God. There's something wrong with my brain. Ugh. Did I, did I just, like, hit the wrong button on the keyboard or what? No, that's a flashlight. No, that's search. F. F for F dismantle. Yes. That makes perfect sense. See you, Battery. Thanks for being here. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.
We're getting there, folks. Not going to be too much more of this. All right, so that's done. I just need to get the rest of these popped in here. You know what's nice is I bet this isn't directional like the other ones are. All right, so that works to go that way. Same kind of deal. There we go. Yeah, and then we'll come back and we'll do we'll do footings and stuff underneath this uh, when we get to that part. But I wanted this to not look stupid, so then I spent a whole bunch of time making it look stupid in a different way. That's fine. But we'll get it done. Now I can actually continue this. So let's do four. I think if I remember correctly, get up to a high spot here. Um. I hope that's just... Okay, that's the shadow of the thing I was about to say. Why is that a different color? We're good. I think... I'm not going to be able to reconnect to that uh, switch-wise. So it's going to have to come out here and either balloon out like that or I'm going to have to have it be uh, something else entirely. But I think uh, for the purpose of you know actually getting this done and not spending... 800 years on it. I'm just going to try to do a uh, a flat loop here. So I think what I am going to have to do i to leave space enough for this to have a straight bit. We'll do uh, just two like that. And then this has to come all the way around. I hope that doesn't end up... There we go. It has to come all the way back around to uh, merge right about here. Uh, but you can only build a simple curve. Why did I take damage from that? You can only build a simple curve uh, one bit at a time here. So if I go out to... See, it's not going to let me get away with that. But it will let me get away with, I believe, here. I think... Think. I might need to have a little bit more space coming through here. Notice how you can only see the uh, the shadow of the legs I've got on. Uh, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I'm gonna have to keep this uh, keep this going here. We'll do two more. All right, so that's gonna go. Yes, there we go. So over three, up three here. I think it technically can go a little tighter, but it really doesn't like to play nice when you do that. So if I do that, then I'm going to have to have a couple more of these come out like so. No, that's too high. This concrete does look nice. Well, as nice as concrete can look, it still is incredibly ugly. Um, that'll be fine here. Come this right there. I think... Yeah, that's about as good as that's going to get. Uh, same thing over here. I probably am still going to have to move this over uh, one more thing, and that's going to be... Uh, it's going to be annoying. But I believe... Yeah, okay, it says too sharp of a turn. And that's because I needed one more. Yeah, I needed one more. But you can kind of see what I'm getting at here. It needs to have uh, the correct amount of length accounted for. What's up? Ah, man, it's so annoying having to do this like three times. But it's going to be so much easier than having... Um, I'll give this another two for good measure. So much easier than having to build an entire loop the entire way. That is just super not fun. All right, so that has to go. Oh, I can just copy that one segment? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's go. 
Oh, it's gonna make it so much easier. Oh no, it's not long enough. Never mind. <laughs> yes, satisfactory is in fact exactly what the name implies. All right, that I think should be enough. Do I have a full three? I do. Yeah, this is unfortunately the uh, the boring part where we have to uh, figure out train stuff. But uh, after that's done, it actually does become substantially more interesting. All right, so that has to go there. That has to come over here. That's one. That's two. That's three. I don't know if it's going to still give us a problem trying to connect stuff here. Yeah, so now it says the track is too sharp of a turn, but um, it really shouldn't have a problem with it. I think. Oh, okay, never mind. It was just connecting to the wrong part. We were, we were actually good, I'm pretty sure. This just has to... Too sharp of a turn? What are you talking about? This is this is why this is a huge pain. It takes forever. It's still not long enough. Are you serious? This is already way longer. Like, I I feel like that can't possibly be true. And if it is, then that's a huge pain. Or maybe it can't be. Maybe it can't be a ninety degree. Maybe it has to just be a more gentle turn here. Can I, can I, like, approximate a 45 here? Let's see if this is going to, uh... No, see, it still doesn't like this. <sighs> Jeez. My god, man. I feel like they should just, like, let you rebuild stuff like this. This... Because what, what I'm doing right now is I'm wasting everybody's time trying to figure this out. I hate doing that. Now I got this stupid thing coming up through the middle. What is this even? Oh, that's the manufacturer. Okay, I'm not going to get away with not uh, not having that. I need to uh, overclock this. I I almost feel like you kind of have to uh, kind of have to build this out from the other end too. Okay, so that works. Um, so what is... That's going to let me do that. Can I... Yeah, it seems like it doesn't care when I do it that way. That's a perfectly reasonable... Kind of. Yeah, I guess that's fine. So now what happens if I uh, get this to be, I guess, here? No, see, that's uh, because the way that I did it is not going to line up. Well, we'll survive. Ah, it needed, it needed something else. Okay. All right, all right. I can hear your inner monologue. Oh god, he's doing this again. Yep, you betcha. Now that I actually have this thing working, I think the way I want it to. One, two, three. Here we go. So that is going to go right here. That probably actually is not long enough. You are you are correct, but we'll uh We'll see here. We'll see here. I do not believe it's going to let me get away with this. And you would be... You would be correct. But at least I got the switch track to get built. Alright, now we can... We can actually move this back. No, I don't want to copy that. I want to copy the railway. Alright, so if I come out to here, I still have... Four? One, two, three, four. Yes. Maybe the cringiest thing you've ever made. Just think about what your kids are watching on TikTok. And that might make you feel a little bit better about it. I did it again. 
I needed that to be longer. Maybe I didn't actually. Yeah, we'll just we'll just bring this out to here. That goes there. That should be... So why is... But why is that? And why is this all messed up? Okay, because that's already... Oh, now I can build a switch track. Special agent my plate. Yes. There you go. God, I, I hate this so much. Why 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 are you like this game? Oh, I built it wrong. Okay, not the game's fault. Okay, that is correct. I had it one one too far over. There we go. Now, if I come over here, yes, it will finally let me build this. But it's um, why is the why is the track kinked like? Okay, there we go. All right, so we got a little stupid balloon thing here. Look how much space this takes up. What a waste. Anyway. That's sending that out. That's working. This is not clogged with anything. That's good. I think part of the problem we have here is um, our trucks aren't going to be able to unload anything. We have so much stuff that's getting backed up here. Oh, never mind. It's actually taking care of it. God, that took so stinking long. All right, now. Now. Finally. Um, I need to add the uh, train station and the freight platform for the other end back into this so I make sure I don't use those materials. But now, hey, this is uh, empty. We can get rid of that. Now I can finally, finally, just build the train. And the fun that we're going to find ourselves getting into is uh, hopefully... Hopefully, not going to be the frustrating kind. As long as I don't have to have this thing go up or down too much, we'll be in good shape. That is to say, I don't want rocks getting in the way. So far, so good. This one is going to be uh, gonna be a little close. But I think I can also just ramp up or down. The where did my zoop go? Alright, so that's gonna be how close? Five? Because I already have this here. Uh time to get rid of this actually. Get that out of here. Then we'll have to have a little bit of elevation here, and then uh it's about actually ready to go off on a 45. Which is going to be super annoying to build with these uh, foundations unless I can figure out how to do... Uh, actually, no, that's that's not going to be that hard at all. I just have to be able to do a transition to it. But, um, yeah, I need to have the actual rail come out this way. Connect that there. Uh, it only has a certain amount of distance it wants to let you do tracks on. And I think that was it. It's weird because it's it's like slightly more than a, a set number of foundation spaces. So it always feels strange, but that will uh that'll work there. I think. Yeah. So now I just have to have this uh, go up. Which uh, will not be difficult. I just have to have a ramp. Trains can go up steep ramps, but uh, it doesn't look very good. 
So I think probably the steepest, honestly, you want to do with the train is going to be the one, the one meter. So I will just have uh, that go up. It's not going to let me, is it? No, no, no. There we go. No, I guess I have to stand behind it. All right, so we'll go up um, five. Hopefully should be enough to clear most of this. I think it will be. And then underneath... Oh, wait, no, I need to use the uh, the double ramps. And then I can have a... Uh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Double ramp. Two meters. I just have to replace the rest of these. It'll look much better when we're done, don't worry. Okay, so that's... Two, th three, four, five, this way. Flip this over to concrete. All right, that doesn't look completely stupid. Then at the top, we'll get that hooked back up to a regular four meter foundations. There we go. Oh, well, that's not going to be aligned to the uh, the grid. Do we care? Uh, maybe I should do four. That's probably the smart thing to do. Keep it all settled correctly. So if I do another ten here, is that going to get me close enough to do the 45, or should I just stick to it at 90 degree? This is... Okay, that's a little too far. A little too far, stupid thing. We're in 90 degree. Or 45, I'm sorry. Yeah, so what I really need is to be... Now, if I get my aim off... This is going to be very irritating. So I want to make sure it's correct. There's also no rule that says I have to do it this way. I just end up doing it this way. I can also go through a different gap in the rocks. So this probably was uh, unnecessary to begin with. I just have to have the elevation. You know, I probably... Uh, Probably I'm fine to just start from here. I know, I know. <laughs> That's why this is a live stream and not videos. Okay, so now this needs to be a up corner ramp. Except the train obviously cannot do that. So it's oh this is this is when this always becomes such a huge pain. But we'll uh Rotate this on the 45. I th think it's about where that wants to be. No, it's not quite. Not quite. So all I have to do is just get it to uh, align vertically here. And get that to set up in a way that's going to make it fit. Yeah, it's not going to let me get away with that, is it? Nope, because it wants to go a certain way. All right, well, that's already not going to work great there. So what if I... Uh, what if I just did one more here, and then off of that... I don't know which direction it's actually supposed to be going. It doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to zoop this way. That's weird. But I th think I think it will let me. Is that straight? Yes. I think it'll let me get away with this. Then we can just fill stuff in uh, appropriately. Oh uh, come on, attach to that. All right, that doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look great either, but it's it's there. 
So as long as I can have the track kind of do that curve and it not look completely stupid, uh, then we'll be okay. I guess what I will do is I'll start from here. I just have to have it uh, play nice with the uh, connections between pieces here. Yeah, that works. Uh, for the most part, it'll get a, uh, it'll get straightened out as this continues going along. But no cause for concern there. I think it's uh. It's just one of those things. It's not going to be completely perfect. I guess I just have to uh, live with it. Yeah, we'll get this situated here. Alright, double ramps. So we'll go up four. Keep that, and then I need to customize. Customize, customize. Then this can go all the way across. As far as you think. That should be plenty of height. It might actually not be enough. I might need to... <laughs> Alright, well let's... um For the uh, the purposes of science, let's just see how far off this is. I might have to move it a couple more over, but I don't want to rebuild this four times. I am pretty sure it's going to be at least two. But I, I do need to know how far off it is. And I guess I need to know how much higher this has to be, too. That's here. Oh, I'm going to be out of concrete. Okay. Um, so this needs to be at least probably eight meters higher, but I can. I can actually remove some of this stuff and then uh, just put it back later on our way back. All right, so that's going to be five. I'm not going to be able to get this out of here, so I need to make sure I can go over it. All right, so that will be... Let's go up. One more. Why is that above my head? Get out of here. That should be enough. But the question now becomes, can I get away with doing just one, one more four meter of that? Actually, if I do this, I don't have to move it over at all. I just go uh, do another turn here. Cool. So we actually uh, kind of solved our own problem just by taking a look at uh, how bad we already screwed up. <laughs> I love when that happens. All right. I can do this. We only need to go up one more. And then this can just take a turn right here. Is that going to be... I know it's not going to let me, but I th think... If that is high enough to clear that, then I think we're in good shape. Yes, it is. Beautiful. We will leave these here. And then I guess we'll just have to figure out uh, everything else, like how, how we want this to go up. I did not want to go up that high, but thank you. So do I go all the way up at the very beginning, or do I have like an intermediary, or do I go back up over here more? Uh, I think probably smarter to go up all the way on this side. So we'll take care of that. We do have to go get more concrete, though. That's the one, uh, I'm not going to say bad thing, but the one uh, thing you do have to keep track of when you're doing these customization deals 
is they use a whole lot of concrete. So now we will have to raise all these up, but it's going to work out quite nicely. That's one, two, three, four, not ten. Four of those. And then let's see. Can I... What what can I reach? I guess is probably the better question. Uh, four meter foundation here. All the way. I wonder if I'm going to have enough. I know I'm going I'm to fall into this trap. Like I always do. Of I think I have everything I need to... Uh, finish something, and then I end up actually not having it, but I'm not going to jump. Unless you're asking for the train to do a jump, uh, which I, I guess technically they can do, but then it's going to crash. They did implement train collision physics several updates back. I just never uh, never got into it. Speed, a train edition, yes. If this train doesn't jump, it will explode. But I, I do know we do have to absolutely get more of this, so we will go go back and get some more. I did want to get that off to a nice start. So this will be completely level. It will not be aligned to the grid. It will be 45. It's okay. Life goes on. But uh, it will actually work. The train comes down here. Oh, yeah, you go down the hill and then immediately into a turn. That's... Uh, Bad track layout planning uh, in most circles, but um, I guess it's fine. It can't tip over because it like grips onto the track from above and below like a, like a roller coaster car. But uh, let's see, what is this? Wire. Okay, fine. I'll grab the wire. That'll be that. That's it. I still have this car here. All right. No concrete in there, no surprise. But uh, we should be probably, you know, using this instead of walking all over the place. Is that out of gas again? Yep. I did it again. Did it again. No, I don't have it in here. All right, let's grab this out, put it in, because that was the whole reason, the whole reason this was a thing. Wait a second. Oh, no, it's full. Okay, never mind. It's not because it didn't have fuel. Well, I can still fill that back in anyway. I'm going to need one for the... Uh, I always do this. Need one for the jetpack. So take that out. So what has... Uh, oh, it's the... Uh, it's going to be the pipes. And those are backed up because the manufacturer is so slow. And this is backed up because the beams have nowhere to go. But I can solve that problem by just grabbing some beams. And we know we're going to use them. So I'll just grab a couple of uh, those things. That should hopefully unstick it enough for them to... Uh, well, that's filling up faster than it can be emptied. Well, look at it taken care of. Not going to be that big of a problem. I still need concrete, though. That was the whole reason I came over here was to get concrete. Which we may find I don't have any because of how much we've been doing this other stuff. But this is backed up substantially, so maybe... Okay, no. There's none in here. It is all being funneled into our thing. So I will just take a whole stack and that will just have to uh, deal with it. Yeah, this really needs to be overclocked more, but hey, what are you going to do? Well, one stack will not get us all the way there. But it will get us most of the way there. This is, however, about to be out of steel beams, which means it will stop and that will fill up. Uh, hopefully, by the time we actually need more concrete, we can make use of that. Alright, it's going to run out of juice real quick here. Alright. Now we can continue building. The world's longest, most obnoxious construction project. And this still can't unload. Wait a second. 
Yeah, it's set to unload. Why, why is this guy stuck here? It's not... It shouldn't be... Uh... Yeah, it's... It's just stuck here. Go, uh, go, go do your thing. There you go. It's very strange. Why is it like that? Now this guy's stuck, or is that just because he's unloading? No. Huh. I shouldn't have to get into that to reset it, but, uh... I guess that's how that works. Alright, on we go. And one of the things I did mention earlier, I'm pretty sure, is that the train tracks uh, conduct electricity. So they do have the ability to uh, transmit power over long distances. So this... Uh, hello? Why? Why Why are you the way that you are? Stop that. Um, it also, it doesn't really do great with inclines on these uh, specifically predefined routes here. But I think you can get it to kind of... Uh, you can get it to kind of play nice. Okay, that looks kind of like garbage, but hey, what are you going to do? No, I don't want the foundation. I want the train tracks. There we go. Let's move this as far out as we can. Hopefully it's not going to get messed up. And that's fine. It just kind of alternates. If it's unaligned right or unaligned left, depending on how you have stuff set up. Well, it's fine. Oh man, that is that is so weird looking. It's like a why. Why is it like an S curve? Ugh. Is that even the correct? Yeah, it really should not be like that. But I guess it is. Should I, uh... Maybe I can fix it if I go back a uh, shorter distance. But I'm also not going to hold my breath. What is the shortest distance I can make this go? See, that that is angled to the right ever so slightly. That's way too much if it's on that other side. Yeah, that's like the same kind of deal. It's like, it's like it naturally wants to oscillate between left and right, depending on how you have it set up. I know it's like a perfect 45, so it should. It should like that, but I feel like it's not going to. No, nope, that's worse. It just keeps getting more and more bad the longer you uh the longer you drag it out. Now it's too long. So maybe if I just do shorter segments it won't be quite so bad. Alright, so that's too short. See that I don't know that that's that much better than where it was. Like I obviously can't go side to side like that, but Maybe there's some sort of happy medium. Or maybe I just need to shut up and not worry about it. That's that's probably, probably the better answer is just to not, not worry about it. Or what I do is I figure out the, uh, <laughs> I figure out the minimum distance it requires to uh, just make it up here. And then just start building it perfectly after that. See, that is already... Yeah, see, there we go. Pick a side to have it lean to. No, because it, it alternates is the problem we were having. But if I just build the straight sections first and then connect them uh, at the points that we're having problems, then I think that should solve it. So I guess when you do uh, inclination uh, or whatever, it messes with stuff. I don't know. But I can tell you that's straight once it finishes. That is what that's supposed to look like, so 
That should, oh, don't fall off. <laughs> no, not empty platform. There we go. We should be in substantially better shape if we can get this to work. All right, so that is going to stop there, which means it stops here instead. Yeah, see, that's perfectly straight, as far as I can tell. All right, we'll get rid of all of this. Can I reach this other one, too? No, I cannot. All right. So I believe now we're in a situation where it's going to be very convenient to pair these. Because of, oh no, I lied. Never mind. Well, I thought it was going to be. I think that can get us a uh, full length of the track here. Hopefully. There we go. Okay, can I reach all the way down there? I don't know if I can. Not quite. Now I can do this. Just bring this all the way back. Bring the track with us. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, now we have to do another 45 and snap that to the grid. So probably what's going to end up having to happen is... Uh, there we go. I'm going to want this to go pretty much right down the middle of right here. So if I just have this, uh, can I go one more over, I guess, right there probably is better. There we go. So that is going to fit there and then, no, no, click this. This should be okay. I believe this is also going to start descending. Oh, this is uh, this needs to go one more over. It's in line with the uh, uh, the edge of our fuel area here, which it's either going to have to go completely over or completely under. So I will move it over here one block. And then we'll just rebuild it. I don't want to mass dismantle so I don't accidentally delete the power lines because that's going to cause a huge problem if I were to do that. But this right here should work okay. If we get rid of this, is that going to... Okay, you know, that actually doesn't look terrible. Mostly. Oh, that's annoying that it does that. That's fine. No, no, stop doing that. Are you kidding me? There's a little... Okay. It's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. I just need to decide what our uh, radius is going to be for this turn here. So I know I can come all the way over here. That's really wide. I don't think it needs to be quite that wide. But I will try, let's see if I can do another uh, bit here. Okay, what's the distance we're going here? We got one foundation. I can't, I can't count with that thing in my vision. One, two, three, four, five. Not exactly uh, meeting here, but we'll do one, two, three, four, five. If I start from here, is that going to... Uh, even gonna let me start from here? I guess so. Okay, cool. Let's check our radius. 
That is not what we want. But if I just start on this end, maybe, maybe it'll play nice. Oh, that guy's looking pretty angry over there. This I think we can live with. We're just going to have to put some, uh, some concrete underneath. But that's a nice wide radius curve. No, I don't want the foundation. I want to clone the track. There we go. And this is going to be another one of those scenarios where we're going to have to probably just uh, connect all of this right here after I have this go a little bit further. Yeah, because if I connect directly to this, it's going to be all sorts of weird. So what instead, I just need to have this go out this way. Still can't see anything. I will just do that there. And then I'm pretty sure I can just connect this relatively painlessly. Cool. All right, so that is now connected. I need to connect that bit back there. Um, do I have enough to... Oh, absolutely. Okay. Cool. So now i got to decide... How this is going to... I mean, this is pretty much perfectly lined up here. That's exactly what I wanted. I guess I could just have this go straight over the top and just load stuff vertically. Because if, if I did that much of a... If I approach from above and then dive down below that bridge, I don't know that I would be able to still build more, uh, more generators here. I don't know that's what we want to do. Water is good. So maybe... Maybe what we'll have to do... Is just build a station on the top of this. That, I don't know, probably would look better anyway. But uh, regardless... Um, I do need to go back. And I need to connect this track. And I need to put power on the station over here. Because when we're done, I want to drive the train back. Instead of walking all that way. But, oh, it's so nice that this isn't oscillating. That would have been so nauseating to look at while riding or driving the train. This is quite a long walk, though. Okay, so now this gets connected here. No, not the ramp, the railway, thank you. There we go. Does the train have a horn? Yes, it does. It is glorious. Not only does it have a horn, but there is a randomized chance that each time you honk the horn, it will instead play the uh, the wooden uh, train whistle noise. Like, you know, I don't know if... You, as a kid, you ever would have had the thing. You blow into it and it sounds like a train whistle, but it's just like a, a wooden thing with hollowed out bits inside. It's a very small chance, but it is there. How do these get stuck again? <sighs> Why are you like this? Okay, the workbench is full. Is it not offloading? It doesn't have any power. Did we did we have a power grid failure? Oh. I I deleted the power pole that it was connected to. Alright, that's fixed. It's ugly, but it's fixed. Wow, that is such an embarrassing thing to have missed. Ugh. Well, let's go get some more concrete. I think we're going to need it. How much have I gone through? Yeah. We've made 52 modular engines, only uh, 448 to go. That's progress. What do you mean there's nothing in here? 
after all that. All right, fine. But it is out of steel beams. Encased industrial beams, I think we probably have enough. Heavy modular frames are being put in a box. We don't even have enough regular modular frames. Okay, so that's full. How many do I have in this? Okay. I'm going to get rid of that extra stack. So we've made a... We've made, since I built this, we've made 100-ish. Maybe 120. So yeah, I did take some of that before. All right, I mean, it's progress. We are going to need to have a whole lot more than 120 to make our, uh, whatever that stupid thing, adaptive control unit is. Well. I believe... Oh, I took the coffee cup out of my hand for the inhaler. Let's get rid of that. Um, I think we're okay. We have everything we know. We have everything to make the train and to get everything else hooked up. I just need to hook the train station up to power. That was one of the things that I needed to do over here. But the way that I have this power run is not exactly uh, the best. Yeah, chat's quiet because Devilish is off doing fun stuff. Uh, who knows what Kurt's up to. It, it is quite quiet. I think we're just vibing. Alright, uh, I'm going to redo this later to not look ugly, but uh, for right now I think this is... Probably fine. Uh, the train, I don't want the train to drive through the wire, I can tell you that for sure. Uh, so let's see. I'm not going to make a tower, but I can uh, can make a little pillar. Maybe uh, right about here. And I can hook the power up to that. Just want to give it a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of an elevation there. Probably looks incredibly stupid, but I don't think I care. All right, so that will fit nicely there. That will go nicely there. Yep, that's fine. Ugly, but it works. It, it is too bad Kurt's not here because he could uh, suggest a name for the train station. Oh, and this also needs to be set to unload, not load. Have an efficient day. Yeah, we got all sorts of, uh, all sorts of stuff to do here. Okay, so that's got to go over that way. Did this stupid thing get stuck again, or is it actually unloading this time? Hopefully it's actually... There we go. It's actually unloading. You can see, that's what I thought, is that it was, that was going to be full like that. And that is backed up for what? It has nowhere to go because we have too much... Uh, too much in the way of steel beams. So if I give it a little bit of juice for that... Yeah, now it's got to get rid of all this other... Other junk. I am going to uh, flip this stuff back a little bit so we can get some of our other stuff out of it. So we have so much. And they're going to go through those screws, no problem. That's fine. Spaghetto. <laughs> Poor guy. That does bug me that that uh, looks like that, though. So maybe we'll... Uh, maybe we'll very slightly change how this is set up. Because that is... Um, not the most ideal setup for this. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and redo this. 
So now that we know we don't have to be afraid of a uh, turn radius, I can just have this come over here. But I don't know. Okay, that, that might actually not might actually not work nice. So for it to be actually the correct uh, orientation, it would have to be some, something set up like that. Yeah, Spaghetto, uh, it is apparent that Spaghetto perished when I rammed him into him with the car. I did not think that was going to happen. Just for the record. I did not think it was even possible. So we'll do... Uh... Okay, that looks a lot better. That looks substantially better. Well, kind of. It might actually be exactly the same. <laughs> uh, who knows? Well, we'll... Uh... Look, I was driving this thing at full speed and this stupid idiot got out of his cage and was just running in front of the car. You know how it goes. But, um... It's the way it is. I'm gonna have to probably not take the car. Have a great Easter stream. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Not super active like it normally is in here, but uh, nevertheless, it's nice to have people here. No, there is no mechanism in this game to build a grave for a deceased um, lizard dog. No, the the, uh, the body disappeared. Which is why I didn't even originally think he was dead. Because every other animal in the game, you can hit him with anything. And they just ragdoll. They just fly off somewhere. But he just disappeared. So... Don't know exactly what that was about, but uh, that's what happened. Getting more work done without having to deal with the insanity. Yes, that is also true. I gotta figure out how high this needs to be. I mean, I guess this height is probably okay because then we're not going to be interfering with the uh, the fuel generators or anything. I wonder if I can, now that this is offset like this, just alternate building. It doesn't seem, doesn't seem to be the case. That's too bad. Oh well. Is that connected? Yes. Oh yeah, okay, I needed like another one and a half. Alright, that's, uh, that's fine. I suppose. The insanity is the best part of the streams. Yep. Is that iron? Oh, cool. We could build... Excuse me. We could build another factory over here if we so inclined. All right. Connect. Ah, yes. The power lines are now in the way. Well. I guess this is fine. We'll get uh we'll get that all moved around. Yeah, the uh the insanity is actually quite enjoyable. Yeah. Well actually actually once we have the monorail, we won't need these power pylons anymore because the stations will transfer power. So that problem solves itself. All right, so that will go out to here. Oh, I guess I could have been okay with the original spot that I had uh, set up for this, but that's fine. I wish my problems would solve themselves as easy as that. You and me both. You know, this is actually kind of scenic from up here. Nice. So if I do another six, uh, I want this station, I'm pretty sure, to be directly above, I guess, what we're going for now. So I'm going to want to have maybe a two, uh, a two gap 
And then, uh, I guess if I don't fall off, that should be pretty much right about here. I need one more. Shouldn't you go down somewhere? Or you want such a high station? Um, the reason I didn't want to go down here is because I want to keep building these generators. And so that will be fine to have underneath. I originally wanted it to be kind of under here, but then I had kind of forgotten how huge these stations are. So I think I'm just going to kind of leave this like this. And we'll just have a, uh, we'll have a big uh, ramp up to it for everything else. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the best best thing for us to do. So this will be... Oh, we're so close to falling off. This will be where um, the edge of the station is. And then I think the, uh, the curve will have to begin here. So we'll do three. That'll take us to the middle. I'll just put that there so I know uh, not to forget about it. But this will be where the middle of the uh, station track goes. We'll just have to have everything else put in where it needs to go. Yeah, that is pretty tall. But, wait, did all this turn off? Because I don't see any smoke coming out of there. Yeah, those are paused. Why, I guess it's full of... Uh, full of plastic, full of rubber. As long as the fuel doesn't stop. Mm, we might have to uh might have to investigate this in a second here. Okay, so I want um what we're going to be taking out of the station is rubber and plastic and the uh packaged fuel. So we want the inputs to be over here. I think. So that is Are these misaligned? These are absolutely misaligned. Wait, hold on. That's not right. Yeah, how how did this how did this get so misaligned on this? Oh god, that's such a pain. <sighs> So you're telling me this whole time, this whole thing is built off of the... That can't possibly be right. If you snap to the guidelines like that. That cannot possibly be right. I'm going to go nuclear. God, that's such garbage. You cannot be serious. We built this entire thing, and it's off? No. No, there's no way. That has to be wrong. This is all, this is all, like, triple checked. No, I, I want it to vertical zoop. Okay, I had the wrong. How did I... Oh my god, man. I guess when I... Uh, I guess when I built this over here, it was just off. Jeez. Oh, that's a day ruiner right there. Now, if I want this to intersect correctly, I'm going to have to redo, like, half of it. I need it I need it to intersect with this, is the problem. How in the world did I do that? Ugh. Well, at least this is, uh... It's close. Duh. All right. So what I'm going to have to do 
So I'm going to have to have this station platform probably uh, right about here. Now, you know what? No, we have technology. Let's go Let's go take a look at this first, because we, we also said we had to fix probably uh, the scenario with all of this stuff. Okay, that's full. This is not even close to full. How's our reserve for our fuel actually looking? So that's backed up. It can't do anything else. That's full. I don't have a door through here. I gotta go over to this side. How much do we have left? Oh, okay. That's actually working out nicely. That's why I wanted to build the giant one. It's because I knew it was gonna be, you know what. Okay, so this... Oh, I just never connected this. Alright, well that's kind of stupid. Is this even connected with the power? Yeah, it's connected. So this isn't sending anything over this side left. Uh, overflow. There we go. But it's not overflowing. So then maybe what I should do instead is just send none of the yeah, just send all of it over here. Yeah, then eventually eventually we'll get everything taken care of. I guess that's fine. So we, we do need this to continue uh, working. Man, that just... I cannot believe that got off somewhere. i got to figure out how that happened. Because if I'm going to have this whole thing connected with, uh, with the roads and stuff the right way, that's really going to be almost impossible. Well, that ship has probably sailed, honestly. Um, I just need to have this hooked up correctly here. So that's going to be two to the edge of the platform. And then two, three, four, five for the platform itself, which means the um, middle of the platform has to go. I'll just do it like that. And then I guess I'll just build the platform off of that and then we'll have to backtrack. That is such a pain. Oh, you s Ugh. Uh, I hate it when this happens. Like, we're actually making good progress, too. Okay. So, not only that, but the height's off. How did that happen? Is it off by just one meter? Or is it like halfway between? Why can't I not? There we go. All right, so it's... um bafflingly close but also not close how how is that even possible my god man we've been live for two hours and I just now notice this jeez alright so I guess what we have to do if we want this to match with this building, which I thought was correct, but apparently the grid is offset by some stupid amount, we're going to have to have the train make up the difference. So that's why I'm going to uh, redo all this. Maybe that's why it was wanting to wave around weird. Who knows? Well, that is going to become... Um, like that, that needs to go here, 
that needs to go here. So that this is the width of the train platform right here. This will be where the loading takes place probably. Uh, probably can just send that out the wall there and then up. Which means uh, the platform here. Oh, I'm out of concrete, of course, because I did all this nonsense. All right, so we've got to get rid of all of this. But at least we know that is uh, correct, kind of. Alright, so that set back to zoop. So that's going to have to be where the unload platform is. That means the station itself has to go up here on these next two. Oh, I'm out of concrete again. Okay. Well, we're going to rebuild it all anyway. That is just super annoying, man. <laughs> I need concrete for that too, of course. Alright, um, can I reach any more than this? It's only giving me seven. Alright, let's do... Yeah, we're gonna have to go. Gonna have to go get more. That should. If I can get my numbers right here. Should build right there. All right. Is there a limestone over here? Did we decide last time? There is. All right. So that's what we will do. Is we'll go. Uh, we'll go get some limestone. Because I don't want to. I don't want to go all the way back there. We'll get a little, uh, little bit of this. Some multiple of three, then we'll make more, and then we can go uh, try to fix all this other garbage. Right, that'll give us thirty, which I think. Oh, not even close. Not even close. We need more. That'll give us 50 concrete when we get those turned in. Sending plastic into the recycler since it's overflow. Is it actually sending? Okay, it is. But it's also, it's uh, splitting and this is uh, the center output. So any plastic that can't go is going to the overflow. That's perfectly fine. 
Do I have a workbench over here? I'm gonna need to build one, I think. <laughs> Where is the workbench anyway? There we go. I'm sorry, craft bench. Not a workbench. Concrete, concrete, concrete. There we go. I just have to, from the uh, perspective of my brain not wanting to play nice to me today, I do have to check and make sure this is correctly aligned, and it is. Okay, cool. Now i got to get back up here. How am I going to do that? I guess I have to put that ladder back in, huh? Okay, so let's do the freight platform. And then I wanted that to be on that side. Yep. So then the foundation. Oh, now I'm out of concrete again. Yes, of course. And I'm too far away. I guess I should have gone, uh, gone for more concrete. Unless I can reach. This is going to be the world's stupidest game of catch up here. Can I? I can. Yep. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to go back and uh, get more of this, but at least we have this in place now. Probably should have just set up a, uh, a miner on this, but you know how it goes. does take quite a long time. But we do need to make a good bit so we can make the turnaround loop and then uh, just reconnect everything, rebuild that entire stupid thing. <sighs> what a pain. How's everybody doing today? How you doing? I have not seen either of those, unfortunately.
I feel like at a certain point, it's possible for something to get so overhyped that it can never possibly live up to your expectations. And then that, that's at the point I'm just like, you know, I don't even want to see this anymore. Because I know, I know it's not going to be nearly as good as people have been making it out to be. And the whole time I'm watching, I'm just going to be thinking, well, okay, so when's it going to get good? Alright, there. I got 300. I'm not sitting here doing this anymore. <laughs> it's driving me insane. Alright, let's go uh, make ourselves some concrete. Skeptical of movies longer than 2 hours and 15 minutes. See, I don't know. This kind of like why I, I don't really like get that excited for movies. Is like a lot of really good stories take a long time. And are going to be much better off as like a TV series. But you can still tell a good story in two hours. You just have to be very efficient with how you use your time and your plot points. And a lot of the time, especially now, movies try to do way too much. It's like, oh, we, we got we to gotta do like the most crazy stuff or whatever. So they either invest way too much time in telling pointless side stories that aren't relevant if it's just a standalone thing. Or they put way too much effort into specific things that aren't going to be a good emotional payoff at the end. Like, at that point, just make a TV series. You can have episodes that aren't going to have a whole lot of action. You can have some that are going to be packed full of stuff or whatever. I don't know. I, th I think the attention span becomes a problem when people are uh, used to short-form content, and then they go and watch a movie, and then they're like, oh, this is too boring because nothing's happening. So then the people who make the movies just make them so full of garbage you can't even fit anything else in. It's like, it's okay to have a slow moving plot if it's engaging and while it's going you have the opportunity to think about stuff a little bit it doesn't it doesn't have to handhold all the time but you also don't want to feel like you're drinking through a fire hose if that makes any sense the pacing is just so hard why can I not click on the uh Okay, I guess I'm going to have to grab it from over here. Alright, so I think... Oh, I should have I should have taken measurements on the, uh, the other thing. But our little, uh, our little chaos loop. How do we want to... Uh, how do we want to do that? Because we know it's going to need... Uh, I guess I'm going to have it go out to the right. In case I need to make this building bigger. I haven't seen the original Dune either. But, I don't know, like, sci-fi as a genre, I feel like is one of those things that you really shouldn't try to make appealing to a mass market audience. Because you're going to lose some of the charm. You're going to lose some of the, the thing that made it appealing in the first place. Like, I don't know, again, I have not seen Dune, I have not read Dune, but everything I've heard about it points to it being some sort of, like, a a fantasy space allegory for religion and power, which is a very good story to tell. That's going to be really, really engaging. But if you take away the source material, the stuff that makes it just completely nutso, right, it's not going to be as entertaining to the people that actually know the source material. And it's it's going to be a completely different thing. It's like, why why do you have to change it? Why do you have to change it so much? The thing, it can stand on its own merit, I think. 
I don't know, maybe uh, maybe I'm wrong. But that, that's like the thing that really bugged me about um, the Avatar movie, the last Airbender, not M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong, whatever his name is, uh, his uh, live action thing. It's like the work in and of itself is good. You don't have to change it just because you have the opportunity to. All right, so now now we got a uh, we got two completely opposing opinions of the 1984 version. No, oh, I won't moderate because I have not seen either. But that's uh, it's always been interesting, like how polarizing opinions on sci-fi stuff are. Then I saw something about like, oh, Star Wars is just a worse version of Dune, which is wild to me because I've seen Star Wars. I've seen all well the stuff in the past. I don't know, ten years. I probably haven't seen. But I, from what I know about Dune, I cannot imagine that being even close, except it takes place in space. So there's, there's got to be some wild stuff going on. I already forgot what I was doing here. Um, oh yeah, I was going to try to make a, uh, what do you call it? That's, I don't want to go all the way back there to look at it. But I know I'm not going to remember how to do it correctly. So I know I need to have the track. Um, oh, you know what? You know what? I'm going to have to flip this around. Because this is going to have to have... Yeah, I got I to gotta turn it around. Because the train has to come through here and then turn around and then go to the station ready to leave. So I've got to swap... I've got to swap this thing and this thing, which means I need to have more room on this side. Uh, okay. I'm going to need to leave room to expand the platform, which means this turn thing probably can't start until here. Jeez. Oh, this is what I get. This is what I get trying to do something interesting here. All right, train station. So that has to be going th that way. Here we go. Well, fortunately, it's not hard to put stuff back where it goes. You just have to plop it back in place. I wonder where that goes. All the way up there. All right, so that's going to... Uh, also made me so mad that that little spike thing went through the window, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. Now this comes back through here. It'll go zoom, and then turn around. So then I just have to leave that there. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have to have more concrete, man. I don't know how I could have possibly misjudged this so poorly, but I did it. So I got uh, got one, two, three here. So I'm gonna do one, two, three. That's one, that's two, that's three. So that's going to be where the next turn goes. Uh, it's going to have to go here, here, here. And then that will go there. We will... Oh, God, we have to go get more. Devilish is here. Hello, hello. Haven't been KO'd by liquor yet. Well, that's good to hear. Thanks for the two, friendo. Appreciate you. So this has to go... See, I already forgot what I was going to do here. One, two, three. Yeah, this has to go... Nope. This has to go... Nope. No, that's actually correct. Never mind. So that goes there. Then this... Please do not crash. Uh, that will go here. And then we just have to fill in underneath. But I don't have enough concrete, so we got to go get more. You guessed it. Alright. Mash down the E key and go to town. I guess we'll just get another 300 of this, because why not? <sighs> well, hopefully you're having a good day, Devilish. It's always good to see you. We are doing train construction, and uh, we've been at this for two and a half hours, and I just figured out I have misaligned 
uh, substantially one of these uh, parts of the track here. Might make some chicken wings later. Sounds kind of good. By the world grid, you're only all 30 degrees. Only off 30 degrees? See, look, now I don't know what to believe, because I know when we, when we built this thing, we checked. We aligned it with the world grid. And it is aligned. But then I popped that other thing in there, and it had changed. Uh, what have you missed? Uh, we were working on trains, and then... Uh, we're actually being very productive. Uh, we hadn't gotten derailed hardly at all. Uh, but then uh, something, I don't know how, but something got off with uh, the alignment of the uh, the blocks. Trying to build a train. Hyper tubes. Um, I, yeah, we could probably play with some of those later. Yeah, it's, I don't know, some sort of alignment thing got messed up. It doesn't really make any sense. But, um, yeah. We've been getting stuff done. It just takes a little while. Meatball statue win. We don't have the uh, tickets for it yet. Uh, I was originally going to be unavailable to stream this weekend, but plans changed. Uh, I was out of town for a job thing and it ended early. I was originally going to get home tomorrow, but got home yesterday. That's the nature of not telling you what it is so I don't get doxxed, but that's, that's the way it goes. And as soon as we set up this uh, reverse loop for the train... Uh, will hopefully, hopefully be in good shape. I might have to move it back another, another stretch so I don't uh, have to rebuild the loop again if I have to move the platform back, but we'll see. I think if I can get it to connect as it is now, we'll just have to leave it alone and solve the other problem later when we get to it. Almost there. Just need a little bit more. I should have brought a portable miner with me. That would have been the smart thing to do. But I don't have one. Alright. So that's that. To get this out of here, man. Let's go. Then I have to build some sort of a support structure underneath all this mess. I mean, I don't have to, but it would be nice. Well, the reason I didn't bring any sort of a, uh, a miner or whatever for this is because we're already making concrete in mass over at the, uh, the main base. But we had been going through it because we were automating the heavy modular frames. Well, that's another thing we did, Devilish, is we automated a couple of... Uh, production things. Uh, we're making modular engines for the space elevator, but uh, those are very, very slow. We can make pretty much one per minute. And that's why it says 66 out of 500. We will have to overclock that machine. Gravity is something that was invented. Yeah, so that's why stuff just fell down before they figured that out, huh? Alright. Let's get this show on the road here. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I can get away with uh, with doing this this way. Um, hello? Okay, well, I thought that was going to work. Never mind. I wonder, is it going to let me... Uh, 
Just skip the other part? Probably, probably not. No, I'd have to have it go the other way. Alright, that works. Can I... I think we're going to have to move this back again. Yep. Yep, I did I did the same stupid thing I'd already done. Alright. I'll tell you what, we'll move this back. A whole three, just because we can. Make a giant, pointless loop again. We're already going to be out of concrete. Man, I cannot, cannot believe how much concrete this takes. But I, I am the one that insisted on doing it in the uh, the concrete style, at least, so I have no one to blame but myself. Okay, I might as well go ahead and just build this out from here. Come out to this way. Oh, it's not going to play nice. Not going to play nice because it's not connected to anything. All right, never mind. I guess I have to do this the hard way. All right, so that's that way. I guess this will go up to here. Same as it ever was. Is that going to fit here? Yep, sure is. All right, that works. Now, now I can hopefully, hopefully get this to align somewhere over here. Too sharp of a turn. All right, it's gonna, gonna play hardball with me again. You gotta be careful with that stuff because someone's gonna think you're actually serious and believe you. Yeah, the rails look cool. How did I how did I have this set up before? Did I have it set up as a uh I actually don't remember. That's too sharp. That's probably not the right angle either, but uh, let's run with it. Too sharp of a turn, huh? <sighs> Stupid idiots. Alright, so that has to go... <sighs> Man, I don't know why this is so stinking hard. It really should not be this difficult, but it is. So that has to go here. And this still isn't going to want to play nice, is it? It's going to say it has too sharp of a turn. But I've already done this. Put the switch first and connected everything else to that. I wish I could just do like a modular thing. I feel like that would be so much easier. So that says it's too sharp of a turn. Okay, and I left space two here. So it does have to connect right here. It just has to... Jeez. Uh... All right, where was I? I think we decided this... Yeah, so like it doesn't like that. Do I have to move this again? I can't, I can't get the blueprints to work. I don't know what it is. It just straight up does not work. All right, let's move this back one more. What did you do today? Oh, I watched this idiot try to build train tracks for three hours. Wow, that sounds boring. It was. All right, um, ugh, I'm out of concrete again. I'm 
All right, away we go with the tracks once again. So, like, I already have so much straight here. Like, it feels wrong. It feels like it's way too much. I wonder if it's an issue of me already having way too much straight. Is that what it is? I don't need to widen it. Widen it would just make it harder. Like it has no problem with the uh, the geometry of this. It's just getting the switch to play right has always been the biggest pain in the butt with this. Like I wish you could just construct a switch like as an item in the game. That would be so much easier. It's like this really should not be should not be a problem because it it can already uh, the uh, place we're putting this can already do a 90 degree in a three by three space which so should have no problem getting back into it. It's just so weird the way that it decides to do this stuff. Like it only wants to snap in certain places. Like here and here, and then I need this to go from here. So now now it wants to It wants to do this. Or it was. There we go. Yeah, and that in theory. Oh, so no, that connected. Uh, All right. Well, if I make a uh, if I make a longer platform, I'm gonna have to rebuild this. But I guess I guess that's how that has to be, for whatever reason. And now I'm out of concrete again. <laughs> god. Oh my god. I had a portable miner the whole time. All right. Well, I promise you we're going to put it down right here, right now. We're definitely going to make use of that. That is very annoying. All right. Get get mining there. I'm looking for slugs. It's probably up there. That's sulfur. It's almost certainly up there, unless there's a uh, a cave. Yeah, it's going to be up on the top there, but I don't have concrete to go up there, so we're not going to mess with it. Well, we can also mine it ourselves. Well, that was more of a just so I could find an excuse to use that thing, and then I figured out I couldn't get to it anyway, so it didn't matter. Mercifully, once we fix all the misalignment problem, then uh, we can actually run the train and be free of this. That thing should shut off at, uh, actually, what's the stack on the 100? Okay. So I'll go to 200, and then that thing will stop when it gets to 100. And then I'll probably just need to let it keep going again.
Now the question is why why do I have an odd number of I shouldn't have an odd number of limestone. That's why I had an odd number of limestone. Okay. Well, I got my 300 here. Probably going to need more. So I can still have some concrete there. All right. We'll just keep doing this then. I'm sure somebody's made a song out of the samples from the game. It's very exploitable. Alright, do I have... 62, okay. So I'll just let this go all the way up, go make some more concrete, and try to get everything connected back up together. Factor didn't save correctly. Well, it should be an autosave. Or if it's not, you should set up autosave for every, uh, I think mine's two minutes. All right, 173. Still going to run out in like 0.5 seconds anyway, but do what we can. And now we can finally fail to activate zoop mode. There we go. We can finally get this realigned correctly. It was so close. So close. And yet, so far. So what we're going to need to do... I have to have this go up one meter somewhere around here. I think probably going to make the most sense to do it uh, uh, on that end. So this... Uh, 
I hope this is actually lined up and I haven't bamboozled myself again. But we'll uh we'll get it sorted. I think that has to uh do I want to be closer? Or do I want to be further away? Um I think I can go over No. I guess I should I should leave it like this. It's just how how does this happen? <laughs> how how is how is it possible? Game keep multiple auto saves it might. I haven't had to mess with that in uh quite some time. But I believe it does. The thing that really stings is we had uh we had rail laid out and that's quite irritating. I guess I should. Uh, no, we're going to have to come back this way anyway. So might as well just go all the way back here. What a hike, huh? This is going to be like another thousand meters worth of stuff. As long as it doesn't... Come on. Delete the power lines when I do this. Got to be careful. Do I have space to hold everything? I think I do. Uh, almost, almost got the power line there. Almost. It's going to be a little dangerous here until we move past this. Alright, get the railway out of the way. There we go. Little track behind me. Well, we have to go back this way anyway, so... And I have to align it up here. So it's not going to be... Uh, not going to be a super uh, convenient process either way. That's not going to work. Then I got to decide when I'm going to do the uh, descending bit here. I'm pretty sure this is going to intersect with that rock. So it's going to have to be after that. So I guess probably what happened was uh, when I did this 45, it got off. That's annoying. All right, so that's there. How close can I get to the rock without it... Uh, actually intersecting here and more importantly am I going to be able to have this uh, set up in a way that makes sense because yeah, that needs to be oh, so we'll, we'll bring this in we'll bring this in and then we'll uh, build up on top of it I think is going to make the most sense yeah because that's uh, very wrong here All right, so that See, that makes a little more sense to have that like so. Although that is um, pretty hideous. Not going to sugarcoat it here. Okay, so now i got to bring in the one meter foundation. That's not really going to line up super great. But, fortunately... I don't know how this got so messed up. Uh, fortunately... It won't be that big of a problem for us here. Then I think I can have this just be our ramp. Any slugs nearby? Uh, mm, that's probably the same one it was tracking earlier in that direction. Yeah, so technically yes, but no. 
That's gonna go there. Alright, so this is gonna be super ugly. Oh my god, dude. Alright, let's um not stare at that. Uh concrete foundation. Okay, that looks better. Um, did I not put a ramp here? I thought I did. Maybe that's what happened. Okay, so now I have to have this. Is this going to let me... Now, if I could get away with this, that would be fantastic. Ho, 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 ho. Well, looky there. Rocking the, uh, in the rail here. If the train can navigate it, then it doesn't matter. But this is, um, this is pretty hideous. So maybe, uh, well, that's probably the best way to do it, honestly, from the train's perspective. We're just going to need to, uh, reconfigure a substantial portion of this. That's pretty, uh, pretty ugly. But once the, uh, no, I gotta fix this right now. Uh, once this is actually, uh, set up correctly, I think it'll end up being fine. That's a one meter foundation. I don't want a one meter foundation. I want a, uh, want the four, four meter. There we go. I just have that go in like so. I can bring that in that way. And then... That's what I just I wish I had like a diagonal one that didn't suck. Or maybe I can, maybe I can buy one, I just don't have it, but that is mm, It's pretty ugly, not going to lie. It would have been perfect too. If it had not been for those meddling kids. By kids I mean rocks. So I'll tell you what, let's um let's move that down. Maybe to there. And then I will just have this be perfectly flat going around the corner here. That should end up being uh, substantially better. Let's just find the place where it actually lines up. Oh, that's right here. Uh, I think the no terraforming bit probably is actually better for the game in the long run. Just based on how the uh, the map is like completely custom made with 3D uh, 3D bits and pieces, like every single bit of this is hand sculpted or copy pasted assets, whatever. If you could terraform it, they would have to have a lot more processing power into it because it has the collision mesh and everything. So this, yeah, this does look a whole lot better doing it this way. Yeah, so many more polygons. It would be impossible. Keep in mind, this game's been in uh, early access for like, what, six years? Five years? They've done a lot in that amount of time. But I imagine it was probably just one of those things where they said, okay, are we going to have terraforming? They said no. And then that was it. Because they wanted to focus on other stuff. I do know there's a lot more stuff coming in 1.0. I do not know what it is. Uh, to get into the beta, they made you sign an NDA, and you couldn't stream it. So I was like, you know what, no. I'll just wait. I'll just play it when it comes out. But now, now, friends, we are getting close. And doing this correctly, taking the time to fix it, is irritating, but it's going to look so much nicer. All right, so this now is good here. Uh, okay, so we have how many how many blocks? We got one, two, three, four, and then here, one, two, three, four. All right, so I'm gonna build a rail starting here. Nope, not there. Starting nope, not there. Starting there, and connect it to the train station. Hopefully. Then I can just connect the curve. 
That'll be a nice medium radius curve and we'll be... Why did that jump? We'll be good to go. And then we can place the train. And then we can drive the train. And then we can be done. Assuming I did this correctly, which I think I did. Yeah, that uh, ignore the uh, the gaping void underneath. Underneath that. Okay, I don't need to do that that way. I need to do that that way. That way. And then I can take away pieces from the corner and fill in over here. One there. One there. One there. It's not perfect, but it does mostly work for now. Okay, so now we need to put the train on. I guess it doesn't really matter where it goes because it is going to have power. Speaking of, we need to hook the train station up to power. Um, for lack of a better place to put it, I'm just going to, for right now, attach it to right there. That's ugly, but it's fine. Uh, we can put the train on the track now and then drive the train. Locomotive face that way. Freight car coupled behind. And that's all we need, just just that one. And now we have it now we have the train. The sad little baby train. And then you drive it. You can go through the station. It'll do this little flip doodad. And then we don't have anything going into it yet, but, uh, oh, when it's on autopilot, it'll be much better. Because then I can actually have it park in the correct spot to load, unload. So we'll get a little thing that says press F or something to load, unload. Once cargo actually exists. F to dock, that's what, that's it. Alright, so it's not been programmed to go anywhere, so I don't have to worry about it, uh, being a huge pain in the butt. But the track is all connected, which means the power is all connected. Uh, all we have to do now is get the goods up here. We've got two inputs, two outputs. Uh, as far as I know, you don't need to actually connect both. It's just there for a capacity thing. Because you only have the Mark V belts can do, what, 720 per minute or something? I think it's what that is. So we will uh, have to figure out what we're doing there. But now we have the problem of getting all of the stuff that we've produced up here. Because we are making packaged fuel and we have... Oh, that's empty because it's all going to the recycler. So let's, um, let's turn that off because I kind of need to have rubber and plastic to take back. Uh, but this now, along with the packaged fuel, needs to have a mechanism to go out and up. So probably, probably, oh, actually right here would be perfect. Assuming that is the input and not the output. I, that's the output, that's the input. I think. I can't see the direction of the arrows. Not from here. That's the jetpacks for. That's the input, that's the output, okay. Yeah, that's slightly in the wrong spot then. Yeah, because that's going to be there. Well, no matter. We'll just have this go through the uh, the center here. We'll make a little hole in the wall. It's going to be a conveyor wall. Oh, it's not going to line up anyway. Who cares? It's fine. We'll just have a single stream because it's all going to get lumped in there anyway. That works. Um, concrete. I probably am going to need to have more. I know. It's our favorite thing ever. Making more concrete. But. This guy's been working. So now I got 102. Which will make me, uh, 34. Yeah, if you time it right with the autosave, you can get going up really fast. Alright, so let's make that. 
we'll get our conveyors hooked up and then we can uh, take the train back with our uh, our stuff. So that's going to go out there. So that means this probably needs to go away. And then instead we need to have a splitter here. I don't think it needs to be a smart splitter. Maybe it does. No, because we still want plastic to go in here. But we want pretty much... This is going to break my brain again. Uh, smart splitter. Oh, I don't have rotors. Never mind. Um, let's, uh, let's get rid of this. Alright, so that can go away. We'd need the plastic to go in here. But we also want to send fuel, so that output has to come back in. But we want to have a split. I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess I could just do a regular splitter here. Uh, should I? Oh, this is a, such a pain. Uh, hmm. So I need plastic to go here. But only plastic. But I still want to save some rubber. But I'm not using the rubber right here anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just... <laughs> oh, man, I'm just going to have to have it be... uh I'm just going to have to have it be overflow. Have some weird smart splitter garbage here. So that's going to be right here in the center, I think. Yep. All right, so what we're going to have to do is send off to the right here. That's going to have to be plastic only. But I wish I could have it... <laughs> I wish I could have it be uh, metered. Because that's going to send up to 60 per minute. But I only need 30. Maybe that's what the programmable splitter can do. Uh, but now I've got to have an overflow to this. And then everything else... Uh, any okay I can have that go any to that side and then this can just be overflow that can go into there and then this just has to go into our uh, industrial storage Is that centered? No, it is not. It doesn't matter if it's centered. Why do I care about this so much? That works just fine. So that is going to be probably... What's, what's, what do I have this going in here? Mark 2? Because this is producing how much? 20 per minute. Uh, Mark 2 is probably right. But do I have enough stuff to make Mark II's? I have 29. Okay. So I do Mark II's going in here. That's going to be any. That's overflow. And that's plastic. So, in theory, every other plastic should go here. Which means that we would get... Th oh, yeah, that would get 30. And that would get 30. All of the rubber goes here. Which is substantially less. Well, at least right now. And then if there's ever a backup, it goes into the recycler. That is probably how this is supposed to get set up. And then I have to just rebuild that so it touches. And let's see if how this ends up working. Okay, so plastic went right. Plastic went left. Plastic went left. Okay, this is going to work. That's going to be fine. So now this goes in here. 
And this has two outputs. It also has another input. So what we will do is we will take... This also probably should not have been all the way over there. It probably should have been set up to go that way. But what we will end up doing... We're going to have to put another smart splitter at the uh, other place. This, But I think... At least for right now, until I redo this to not be quite so stupid, is uh, I'm going to... Is this really not going to let me put this on the, the border of this? I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have this be uh, splitting between this container, so we always... Wow, that's full. And then uh, it's going to make its way into the top of this thing. The emerging stuff, then now needing to smart split the belt. Um, no. Are you talking about how this is set up? That's just to get stuff in here. I don't think it's it's going to be that big of a deal. Oh, that's not set up right anyway. That needs to go here. Oh, stupid. That needs to go here, I think. Oh, that's not going to fit. Appreciate you being here. That was directed at uh, Roy, for those of you not reading comments. Okay, that can go here. Why is that not... Is that really too steep? Seriously? Alright. That's, uh... Oh, that didn't need to be that high. Okay. Let's try this again. That was the correct spot, though. So that's going to go here. There we go. Drexos, thanks very much for the gift membership to Serena Elise. Welcome to the Beard Boosters, if you are in chat. All right. So why is this not sending fuel? Did I build the wrong thing? No. This should be... Should be sending... Why are you not sending? All right, let's um, let's fix this here. Maybe it's because I placed it in a spot it didn't want me to place it. Okay, so that says wait. Oh, I absolutely did. All right. I built it wrong. Splitter has to go here. How much does this make per minute? 60. Okay. That's fine. That goes there. That goes there. So that splits to go there and then also into here for storage. So now it will send package fuel into this same deal where it will combine with all of our overflow and then all of that can go well it's going to have to be more than 60. I'll just do... I'll just do Mark 3. That can go up that way. That works. It's not glamorous, but it works. And then that just has to come out the other side. And then up. Which, in theory, should not be that big of a deal. Let's see, uh, architecture-wise, I've got frames to mess with. I can do regular foundations. I can have this just kind of set up here. What direction is that facing? Like that. Yeah, I can just have this go straight up. Frame wall, that could be a fun thing to uh, pop up this side there. And then I can just have this go vertical. What did I do? A Mark III? Yes, I did. Nope, that's wrong. Conveyor lift Mark III. That should be... Uh, it's not going to be aligned at all, is it? Or I'll tell you what. Oh, that isn't even in the right spot anyway. So that's got to go centered. 
just check and make sure this isn't clipping. All right, that's going to work out just fine. Now I have to come upstairs. All the way up. Can I... Can I make it up that way? Might have to jump from here. That's... Yeah. Barely. All right, so that's going to be high enough to get into here. But I'm going to have that turn... 90 degrees, so I can uh, have this set up correctly here. This is super ugly. It's fine. That will go there just so I have something to attach stuff to. And then that will end up being opt in place. It is hideous. It is not beautiful. But it will work, I think, once I get everything uh, hooked up correctly. So that goes there. Should all be coming out. Let's look at all that package fuel. Uh, come up here, and then eh, I need to just make this not the frame floor. That's going to have to be normal, normal foundation. Just because that makes it look a little bit better. I want to formally apologize for judging you for all the manual crafting as I sit here manually making screws. <laughs> hey, well, that's all right. That that that's really the authentic experience, though, isn't it? <laughs> Just making all this garbage. The satisfactory experience is just saying, "I really need to automate this," as you do not automate it. All right. So this is hideous. It is ugly. It is suboptimal. But most importantly, it is working. So now all we have to do is wait for this to uh, have enough to take back. This could take uh, a decent bit of time. So for that to load up, it'll take a while. So we're just going to drive the train. We'll take it all the way back, and then we'll uh, we'll go back back and come get all the stuff. But yeah, we need to make little pillars and stuff so this isn't just kind of floating everywhere. But we did it. We got the train. It's going. Hopefully it doesn't end up looking stupid the way we have this set up. Okay, now that's fine. Yes, Prison Architect should be fun. That'll be on uh, Wednesday. I don't know when I'm going to record that, but that will be coming out on Wednesday. So when we come up here, make sure this... Uh, okay. Yeah, this totally works. I don't have this set to automatic, so it's, um, it's going to be a little bit of a pain. But it will... Uh, Slow down naturally a little bit because of the turn, and then uh, we'll have to manually brake going into the station. But the uh, the automatic one will take care of it for us. That's actually almost perfect. I think, just about. One of these should be. Well, I can't unload anything, so maybe that's why it's not. Uh... There we go. But anyway, that's uh, that's what that would look like. It's not going to be a, a long trip, but it'll be so much better than just manually moving stuff around. Spreadsheet to do math. Uh, you can actually do math. That's the map. Uh, in the game, you can do simple operations like I have to be careful not to use my number pad plus because that's going to mute my uh, my sources, but it'll do 1 plus 1 equals 2, etc., so on and so forth. Uh, there are also websites that will do graphical planning for factories, and you can drag and drop machines and input uh, your feed rates and everything. So that can help a lot with laying factories out. <sighs> anyway, now what we have to do is we have to have somewhere to unload all this stuff. And I'm going to go get more concrete because we're in the place where concrete exists. And we'll finish building some of this out. 
Um, we've made 66 of these. Is that because we are run out of... Oh, we ran out of rubber. Okay, no surprise there. That was also one of the reasons why we were making this in the first place. Was so we could uh, do all that. I sure have a lot of these. Uh, we might have actually made enough. <laughs> made enough smart plating. I'm going to turn this off. So our rotors can actually go somewhere else. Uh, they are being made from not enough screws. So have we actually run out of... Uh, how? We're making screws, are we not? Those aren't turned off. It seems our economy has crashed in-game. I don't know how. It keeps industrial beams, yes, because we didn't have any concrete. Oh, good. Now I have a full stack of concrete. I'll, I'll take two. Just in case. Now we can actually go over here and kind of finish this. Then I ran out of juice. Is there a reason I can't go up? There we go. Yeah, I uh, did not make great choices with some of my uh, some of my prison architect strategy for sure. That's part of what makes the game fun, right? Is you you do uh, you do the stupid garbage like that. Um, oh, that's not even the right shape. All right, I gotta move this. Uh, I need a smart sorter for the output of this because I need to have the fuel come out, so I can then put the fuel into uh, this thing right here. Because that's not that's not working. I might have to uh, might have to just uh, have that typed in. An honor system prison, yeah. Because, like, somebody had left me a comment about, like, hey, why do you have a... Or, I'm not trying to make this person sound like they're being nasty or whatever. That's just what my brain defaults to when I read something in another person's voice. Um, but it's like, why why do you have stuff not closed? Why are doors locked open? And I'm trying to say, okay, well, you know, there's certain things you might want to actually have, like, locked open so the guards don't have to walk all over the place. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't really see what the problem is here. And then I go back and I look at it. And the road gate is just completely, not only is it locked open, you cannot close it unless it's a lockdown. You're just walking out the front gate. It's like, all right, okay, this guy was right. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely a problem. Absolutely a problem. They're just, they're just walking out the front gate like they own the place. Uh, oh, I really need to make more Mark IV belts. Why am I going all the way over there? I can just make another one of these stupid things. Craft bench. There we go. Encase industrial beams. Uh, currently, yes, I am playing on Prison Architect 2. If it sucks, no. Uh, but you'll have to forgive me for not having optimism about Paradox uh, sequels after City Skylines 2. It, I can't imagine it's going to be bad, but I'm, I'm going to be... Uh, holding my breath. The, the thing about City Skylines 2 is it's not bad. It's just not what they promised it would be. Like, it's it's fine. It It's a game. It works. It doesn't work fantastically well, but it does work. You can build a city and you can do stuff with it, but it's not what the first game was. And it's not what they said the second game was going to be. That's what makes me upset about it. That and not having modding support after six months. And not having Steam Workshop after that was what basically kept the first game alive for almost a decade. Is a huge, huge mistake. That was extremely disappointing. It was like, I don't know how are you, how are you going to come back from that. Like... I don't, I don't know if people are going to go back and play the game at all at this point. Just why Why would you... Why? You do, there's no reason to. Oh, I was going to have a smart splitter here. Why did I do that? I need to build one of those. Um, rotors. Rotors. That's what I didn't have. I need two of those. And I can't make them because I don't, <laughs> because I don't have screws. 
But I can make screws. I don't know how many screws I need, but... Ugh, let's see. 25 each, so I need 50. So I never got into Pokemon that much. So either fortunately or unfortunately, I am not uh, not a victim of that being disappointed by the game spit. Smart splitter. Time to split smart. That needs to go in there. Is this even lined up correct? No. Perspective in this game is messed up. All right. So that needs to be a Mark IV belt coming out into there. This can probably be a Mark III. This is going to be for fuel. Left output. Packaged fuel. I don't think we're ever going to have that much, but you never know. Uh, center output. Wait, did I do this wrong? No. Uh, right output. You know, actually the right output should be for... Uh, I almost said powdered fuel. Packaged fuel. Left output can be for uh, nothing. No, you stupid. All right. Then the center output can be for everything else, which is going to be plastic and rubber, which does not currently have a uh, a home. So why don't we... Why don't we do... Is that even the correct spot? I will put uh, one there. And then just for right now, and this is probably not going to stay this way. But I'll put uh, one here. Son of a... No, I need this to be centered. For no reason whatsoever. There we go. Alright, so that is going to be so much buffer for fuel storage I guess yeah mark 3 will be fine that'll go in there this left can be instead of that can be for the uh, plas no I need to put my fingers on the correct keys plastic and then rubber and go out the center so that's going to be at least for right now just set up like that and then I uh, have rubber going out the middle. That needs to go out to go in to down here. Smart splitter feed overflow. There's not going to be any overflow. It's not going to be filling up fast enough with the production we have on the other end. That's It's only making... It's only going to be able to produce total 60 plastic per minute down there. And we're already using half of it to make the uh, the jugs of fuel. So we, we would have to have a train with like five or six rail cars for that to clog. I say that now, acting like I'm smart. And I know what I'm doing when in reality it's probably the complete opposite. But um, we will uh, we'll get things figured out. We finished the train? Yeah, we did. We'll go take a ride on it in a second here. I got to uh, got to get stuff out of here first. I'm making the world's ugliest. Actually, who knows? It might not be the world's ugliest, but I'm making a uh, making a big old conveyor belt to bring our rubber over here. Coming out of. I believe this guy. Okay, that's not going to be uh, not going to be quite enough. Why am I so concerned about this being straight? It doesn't have to be. That is a okay. We'll just bring that up. Probably a little too close to have that uh, look nice. Oh, conveyor belt's too steep. Yep, you got me there. How fast does package fuel get used up? Not very. Very not very. That'll go there. Uh, mark three down. 
There's no reason for me to do this, honestly. It doesn't need to be uh doesn't need to be set up this way, but I did it anyway. I'm sure in a in a little while it's going to be, oh hey, we need to tear this out because this is completely stupid. It should never have been built like this. But now the rubber, oh that's not straight, that's going to bug me. Uh, now the rubber has a way to get out. And that was actually the correct one. So this is now fully able to be uh, automated. We need to uh, configure timetable. Uh, I need to have, which station is this? Oh, okay, it, it automatically named these things. But, um, oh, do I have to do that from inside the train or the station? I think I have to do it from inside the train. All right, um, Q for train menu. Edit timetable, yes. So with the station we're currently in is, we need to rename these. Um, then that can go there. Save changes. Yes, self-driving. And now it's uh, self-driving, allegedly. Maybe it's not. Uh... There we go. Now it's self-driving. Oh, you know what I didn't do is I didn't I didn't set up a belt between the uh, the package fuel area and the uh, the truck thing. Well, we'll do that when we come back. You see how much faster this is with the train? This is so much better. Package fuel, industrial fuel storage, and belt eventually. No, we we can't produce enough for that to happen. Not right now. We'd have to have a lot more for that to get clogged up. So you'll see this kind of hit the brakes here in a second when we start going around the curve. Hopefully. There we go. So this will load all of this garbage, which I actually don't know how much it's going to be, but it'll pick up that little thing, put it on the train, and then we'll drive off. So if you have multiple platforms, you can have multiple of those uh, get loaded at once, but uh, we haven't needed to do that. There's also a fluid storage car if we wanted to just take the liquid fuel with us. Uh, but at this exact moment, I don't think we're planning on doing that. We can also take water. Yes, they did a very nice job with the train. I haven't gotten the train whistle like toy sound to come up yet though. Yeah, two iron and a copper over there. That could be a nice factory. So this is currently traveling faster than the Explorer can drive. But not by much. It does not, however, have to go up and down dunes. Which is a, a big bonus. Reminds me when I used to live in the Central Valley and hear all the freight trains. Yeah, there's a surprising amount of rail that goes through there. So then we'll get to see this uh, unload. I am going to hop out of the train so we can actually check and see what's coming out. But it should pretty much infinitely uh, accept incoming transfer and then we'll uh, see everything get sorted out. Alright, so there's all that. It brought a bunch of package fuel, I guess, because we had a backlog of it, but 
A uh, stack and a half of plastic and two and a half stacks of uh, rubber. So not, not a ton, but uh, it is going to be nice to have access to that here. So let's take care of this container. It needs to go away. And again, this is all super ugly stuff, but get it fixed here. That is uh, going to get turned around. We'll just have to have this belted over, over the train tracks, I guess. It should be high enough for it to go underneath. Uh, do a Mark Three. That should be fine. Oh, that will go across. Is this straight? No. This. This is. So that is going to be actually lower, is it? Um, very slightly, yes. Okay, I think that's actually not going to clear the train. So I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll get rid of that. The train is faster than running on the tracks? Absolutely it is. Completely faster. This is going to have to be one more, I think. Hopefully that's a high enough for the train to go underneath. Oh boy, train discourse. Europeans in chat, do your trains haul much freight? I know passenger trains put the U.S. to shame, but I've never heard much about freight trains in Europe. Well, I'm not European, but they do have freight trains. They have a lot of them, but it's probably because of the scale of like how far apart stuff is. It's going to seem like the U.S. just has vastly more rail transportation when in reality it's probably a much lower number of specific freight corridors in the U.S. that see a much higher volume of very large trains. Let's see if this actually uh, clears. Cool. Um, but freight trains in the U.S. can be multiple miles long and can haul hundreds and hundreds of cars full of stuff where, like, a freight train in Europe is going to be comparatively tiny. At least from my knowledge, I could uh, I could be misinformed, as I am not European, but I do have a crippling desire to know about train stuff as much as humanly possible. So I spend entirely too much time looking at all this garbage. Yeah, U.S. passenger rail system is absolutely deplorable and continuously gets no support from almost everybody in government. People wonder why no one can get anywhere in this country. Anyway, package fuel. Going over here. And then that can automatically be put into our fuel input for the truck station. And since all of the trucks go... Uh, hold on. No, I did it again. I did it again. I did a stupid... The it's not supposed to go in this. Stop that. <laughs> ah, that's not what that was supposed to be. So now I've got... Oh, man. I did... I had such a good thing going with this, too. Um, I guess I'll just have to have this rotated up here. That's all right. Now it's connected. Train discourse. Let's go. I was absolutely a train kid. I've got so much Thomas the Tank Engine stuff. I've got every single of the, the VHS tapes that put out in the early 90s. I know there's a billions, billions of those now. But uh, I've got all that stuff. I got HO scale. I got N scale. I got uh, I don't. I don't have any like European models. I've got US models. I've got some Japanese models. Um, I had the original Microsoft Train Simulator in 2001 when that came out. That was a whole lot of fun. Um, probably not going to stream anything, but I do have Train Sim World 3. Might get 4. 
Brightline is doing pretty well. Yes, Brightline has been an interesting thing to follow. But what if I told you it's not privately funded? Not entirely. It got a massive government subsidy. And it's, it's more of like a public-private partnership if you look at how the funding is set up. And the reason Amtrak sucks is because the government refuses to fund it properly. And the, the Class 1 freight railroads completely hamstring it. And the FRA is cowardly and does not enforce the law. Because Amtrak is supposed to have priority always, every single time, when it comes to track usage rights to get between places. But the freight railroads don't care. They just say, hey, you, you can't... You can't do this because we have to get our stuff through like, okay, well, are you going to improve your track structure so that you can actually have passing sightings or holding sightings or whatever? No. So instead they run two mile long freight trains that block everything for hours and hours and hours and hours at a time. And then all of a sudden your, your Amtrak train's four hours late and there's nothing you can do about it. For the circumstances that Amtrak has been thrust into, they're doing a fantastic job with essentially prior to Prior to, like, what, when did Biden come in office four years ago? Yeah, uh, almost no support in most of an entire half of government trying their best to completely just destroy it. Back to, sheesh, back to like the 80s. So not specifically any one particular politician. I am not intending to make this a political statement, whatever, but... It is very obvious that a lot of government does not want it to exist because there's a whole lot of money coming from automobile and freight lobbies trying to keep passenger rail out of everywhere. But no, nope, not everybody wants to drive everywhere. Yeah, Brightline was never going to be electric just because of sharing the trackage with Florida East Coast. And if you want electric on a freight corridor, you have to have catenary that's high enough for double stack intermodal trains, which uh, is not very common. So having the, the chargers that will do 150 miles per hour, you can't do it on the Florida East Coast because it's got grade crossings, but the equipment that Brightline has is capable of 150 miles per hour, which meets the federal government's uh, designation for high-speed rail uh, class 7 uh, track work, I think, is what that, what that would be referred to as. But they, they've set it up in a way where in the future, if they can get the money, they can electrify... A decent bit of it and there are dual mode uh locomotives that will do uh they'll do the electric and the diesel well the diesel locomotives are already electric anyway they just have a generators on them but the the traction motors and everything are pretty much exactly the same between quote unquote diesel powered and electric variants they just have uh, instead of having the pantograph and the catenary overhead they just have the the diesel generator that hooks into the traction motors but uh, that equipment can be configured dual mode so you could have a third rail or you could have um, the pantographs and everything. That's what they do in the Northeast Corridor with uh, the existing, I think it's a P32 GE something or other. But that's the one that has the uh, the dual mode. They uses the third rail for inside New York uh, Penn Station. Same stuff that Long Island Railroad and uh, Metro North and all that will use. But uh, all that to say, yes, the, the equipment the Brightline uses can also work with minimal modification to be electric. You just have to swap out the, uh, uh, the power cars and either have catenary or third rail. Based on where they are, it probably would have to be catenary. But the only track Brightline actually owns, free and clear, that Florida East Coast, or I guess now um, uh, it's like a Mexican conglomerate owns Florida East Coast Railway, uh, they have... I don't know, a, a really short stretch of track between uh, the Orlando airport and uh, where it uh, joins up with the Florida East Coast. So that's the only part of their entire corridor they can actually go 130 miles an hour. Almost the entire rest of it is 79. So they're like, Brightline, it's high-speed rail? No, it's not. It's not high-speed rail. It's higher-speed rail, sure. But if they, can get, uh, if they can get an agreement in place with Disney to do a station at Disney World and then... Uh, also extend out to Tampa, they're going to be really successful. But the problem in uh, rail construction in this country now is getting access to either use somebody else's tracks or to acquire enough land to build your own is completely prohibitively expensive. Because 
well, one, people get really angry when you try to build things anywhere within a 10 mile radius of where they live. So they're not going to want you to build train tracks through stuff. And that happened in Britain too with their high speed rail, but that's an entirely different fiasco that we probably don't have near enough time to get into. They, uh, Suffice to say, the uh, Bright Line existing even at all is somewhat of a miracle. But they got it done through a whole bunch of other nonsense, and they're operating trains, and it seems to work well. Will it remain sustainable? Will it become sustainable? I actually don't know if they're profitable. That's a, technically enough of a private company where they don't have to report a lot of that. So we probably won't know, but I really do hope they succeed. And that they can do the uh, the Las Vegas, L.A. thing to some degree of success as well. Although that's also going to be kind of a mess because they can't get close enough to downtown L.A. Uh, with their high-speed construction. Again, because it's impossible to acquire right-of-way and uh, get trackage use negotiations and stuff. So that's, that's going to be interesting. We're going to see. <laughs> it's... Uh, it's just frustrating to me that this country for decades and decades and decades had world-leading rail infrastructure and passenger everywhere. Intermodal uh, freight wasn't really a thing yet, so it was not as uh, complicated to deal with different stuff. But the, uh, the degree to which the United States has completely forsaken intercity passenger rail is absolutely depressing to me. I don't know. You might hate trains. You might think it's stupid to even think about building it. All right, that's fine. You can have your own opinions. I'm not going to hate you for it, but it's just, you see what the rest of the world can do with this stuff, like technology that for the most part, the U.S. was either pioneering or very, very heavily involved in developing in conjunction with other countries and see them take and run with it and just absolutely just eat our lunch is just incredibly depressing. Hello, Dr. Cudson. Good to see you. Yeah, it's um, high-speed rail now. Well, the, the time to build, the best time to build high-speed rail was when the Japanese were doing it. And everyone's like, wow, wait, this, this is actually a really cool idea. And then uh, France was doing it, Spain did it, uh, England did it, and then the U.S. tried to, to a certain extent in the 60s, as a direct response to Japan doing it. And that's how the Northeast Corridor kind of became a thing. Uh, Amtrak was running some stuff in the 120, 130 mile per hour range back then. And of course now you have, you have the Acela service that runs in some places up to 150 miles per hour, but for the most part is 120 or slower. And it works, kind of. It's definitely not ideal, but it, it does exist. But now it's going to be so expensive to build stuff. As you can see with all the uh, the Federal Rail Administration doing their uh, different uh, corridor studies, and dare I even mention the fiasco that has been California high-speed rail, the uh, political just nuclear bomb that that would be to bring that up. But it can be done. Will it be done? I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh the government has become so embroiled in red tape and regulation for this, that, and the other. And then you, you bring in people politically posturing over things that would genuinely markedly improve people's quality of life, but somebody they don't like suggested it. So now they have to be against it. It's just completely stupid. Has any stack train track been done without artificial floor between layers? I'm assuming you're talking about in, uh, in the game, right? So, all right, here's another thing. Again, I'm not attempting to make political statements or whatever. I believe what you want to believe. I'm going to care about you the same either way. I appreciate all of you. However, it's a disaster how badly it's been handled. And the fact that it's still even being constructed at all is, again, one of those kind of modern scientific miracles. But people, people still think, oh, it's not going nowhere. Okay, you can't build three, four, five, six, seven hundred miles of high-speed rail overnight. It takes a very, very long time. Would be completely absurd to even 
like shovel the first shovel to the ground of the first train running inside of a decade unless you're china i guess is almost impossible it's uh not so but they've been doing a lot of the uh infrastructure construction that isn't specifically laying track has been going on for a a very long time it just takes forever because you have you can't have high speed rail have grade crossings absolutely cannot have grade crossings to be high speed rail where the trains can actually travel at 200 miles an hour so everything has to be grade separated you have to have viaducts you have to have tunnels you have to do environmental impact studies because that's a thing and then you get people that are mad that the train exists and they don't want the train coming through their neighborhood and then you start building it and then they get mad that you didn't put the train in their neighborhood because now they understand it's going to actually be a good thing because then they can actually go somewhere so then they're like well we want to do this blah 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 and then you have to spend five years building like a three mile viaduct over a city because you can't obviously run the trains through the middle of downtown at grade level it has to be separated so it's uh it's just a whole thing and then of course people who don't people who choose i'm gonna say choose not to do any of their own research and just blindly believe whatever the tv tells them do not understand just how incredibly hard it is to make something like that work like you have to have complete cooperation between all different like government agencies uh, people of different political leanings municipalities uh, the general public you have to acquire property legally from people you cannot just take it and give them nothing eminent domain is a process that exists and has to be done in a certain way and you have to go and you have to examine all these different eventualities and then you can actually start acquiring money for it and then you can start construction and then once you start construction it's going to take a really really long time and the whole time you're going to get plastered by the media for well, it's a boondoggle. There's, you're spending all this money. You're getting that. You can't build it overnight. It's not a highway. You can you you can build a road in like a week. You can build a stretch of a two lane road in a week. Cut down trees, grade it, compact the soil. If it's not raining, pour down asphalt. You can drive something on there in a week. Train takes years and years and years and years and years and years to get done. But when it's done, you can use it forever, just to maintenance on it. Building a train on a viaduct is now the cheapest method would not surprise me. If you had a long multi-car monorail train in game, would the train inch forward to load unload each car? No, you have to have separate uh, platforms. So if you want each uh, thing to be unloaded, you have to have a platform uh, for that car to be unloaded. So you could have a station and then a blank platform that does not have a freight unloading mechanism on it. And then another platform that does behind that, and it's going to unload the second car, not the first one. Pause right. How do you get out of your truck? Press E in game. Are we talking about JR? Yeah, I don't, I don't know too much about how JR does operation stuff like that but i do know there's some weird operational stuff like that <laughs> japanese maglev achieves the same speed as the top speed of the tgb yes but it doesn't go anywhere it's like a uh, a proof of concept thing isn't it however many dozens of kilometers long just like a test track that's the other thing maglev is incredibly expensive to build and it's not nearly as, uh, what's the word? My brain just decided to stop working. It's not nearly as um, adaptable to the terrain as uh, conventional steel wheels on rails is. Tokyo to Nagoya, really? 400 kilometers of maglev. Are you, really? Right, now I gotta look this up. The VOD watchers have already jumped off a bridge. Me just having this camera pointed this way, talking about trains for 20 minutes. It's under construction. Okay. Wow, 40 minutes. Maximum speed of 505 kilometers. Okay, all right. 
90% of it will be tunnels. Yep, there you go. There's your construction cost. It's so expensive. What does Shizuoka have to say about any of that? I don't know anything about Japanese politics. That's probably for the best, honestly. Yeah, they've been building... Wow, they've been building this since... Uh, 2014. Originally planned to begin service in 2027 between Tokyo and Nagoya. And then uh, Nagoya, Osaka in uh, 2037. How how far into it are they? Oh, here's a whole section on the Wikipedia page about the dispute. Municipality expressed concern about the water from a river leaking into the tunnel, lowering the water level. Expressed concern early on the delay in construction of the only 9-kilometer long section going through. Might throw the entire project. Yeah, it would throw it off schedule. Ah, yes. Here we go. It is believed by some political analysts that the actual reason for the Shizuoka Prefecture's apparent concerns of the project is not over the river, but was merely used as a pretense to force JR Central's hand in building a train station on the Tokaido Shinkansen under Shizuoka Airport. There you go. There it is. You don't want the train until you do. And then you want it, and you're going to force them to do what you want. Well, I'm not Japanese. I don't understand the culture and all the different intricacies of arguments for things, so I'm not going to need to comment on that, I guess. But uh, it is incredibly funny how fast people change their mind uh, when it seems like they're going to miss out on stuff. Wow, we've got a lot of packaged fuel. I guess they're just making a whole bunch of that stuff. Uh, but uh, plastic, not so much. Rubber is already backed up. But that's probably because this can only make so much at a time. And it needs motors. I have motors. But uh, this is, needs rotors. Excuse me. does not have any rotors. Because it does not have any screws. And it does not have any screws because why? There's no screws in here. Oh, I bet you this is clogged up with pipes. Yeah, I need a true overflow. I think is what the problem is. I'm going to have to get these. Yeah, these guys. They're causing problems. So I guess I have to go dump some of this. So that should, once we get there, take care of our uh, screws. Unless I just need to have a separate exit for screws with a smart splitter. Because this seems to be clogging up way too much. The train can be watched. Yeah, it's fun. It shows up on the uh, thing like that. So it uh, it is working nicely. We just have to have all of our uh, screws get put in place. Which I think... I can't see the... There it is. I love how it honks every time it leaves. Just neat. Big issue with traveling at speed for a train is entering. Yes, the pressure wave is nutso going into the tunnels. Um, I believe, also please correct me if I'm mistaken, but I believe that is part of the reason why the nose of the uh, Shinkansen units is shaped the way it is why it's so long whereas a high-speed rail everywhere else the front is comparatively extremely small extremely short because what the the n700 units isn't the uh isn't the nose on that like basically the entire length of the leading car pretty nuts and that was one of the things that the um people have been talking about with the California high speed rail project because that route is going to have to be significantly tunnels for a lot of it maybe not so much in the central valley that they're building right now but um, especially 
uh, the southern area, like going between LA and San Diego, probably almost all of that would have to be either a tunnel or uh, some sort of grade level uh, separation thing. There's, again, there's so much that has to go into this that people who don't understand, well, they don't understand. I don't know where, what, how else I'm supposed to say that. It's just people, I guess the thing, the thing that I should say is this, educate yourself about something before you make a blanket statement about how something does or does not work. But the uh, high-speed rail in the U.S. I think is going to be a uh, a good thing if they can make it work, uh, all these different corridors. You don't have to have the whole country connected together because it, it's big enough where the, the plane is going to be able to beat it nine times out of ten for a, a distance longer than a couple hundred miles just because it takes so long to get somewhere at a slower speed. But you have the, uh, like, city pairs, like, say, um, uh, San Francisco, L.A. To topographically, it's a disaster trying to build a train between those two spots that can actually do high speeds. But that's the kind of city distance that's more or less ideal. Maybe a little, little bit shorter. So you don't have to just go and fly everywhere all the time. But it's only going to work as well as each city on either end has uh, walkability and transit to where the people that are riding the train can get around without having to have a car. It's just uh, hard because in this country, transit is a four-letter word for a lot of areas. For whatever reason that may be. It is just uh, frustrating that people seem to stonewall any sort of investment in transit in favor of just building more and more highways constantly. But if you have Washington, D.C. to New York City actually running at high speed, full speed, not this, you have to go 50 miles an hour here, or this track is 150 years old so you can't go fast, or there's a one a one-track bridge over this one bottleneck of a river, and it's also a drawbridge, so you have to stop. Like, st No. If you have a proper, actual, dedicated high-speed rail connection between those two cities, nobody would, nobody would need or want to fly. It would be incredibly fast, incredibly efficient. D.C. doesn't have a great mass transit network, but it has one. New York has the best in the United States. Bar none. So it, it just makes sense. Just do it. Build it between city pairs, that makes sense. Atlanta to Charlotte is another good one. I think that's pretty high up on their list of uh, corridor studies. Because that is a drive that I've made a couple times. It's five and a half, six hours. High speed rail, two hours. Hour 45 minutes if you get a really good route. And you don't have to have your car. Atlanta has transit. It sucks, but it exists. Charlotte has transit, depending on where you are. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. But if you have the option to take the train and it works, and the headways are not, oh, the train comes three times a week. No, you can't. That's unusable. You can't. You can't plan anything around that, especially if it gets delayed five hours every time. God, I could I could rant about this for hours, but nobody wants to hear that. Photovoltaic. Oh yes, that would be smart. But it just takes so much money to build that much stuff. That and then you have people that are convinced solar power doesn't actually do anything. Don't know anything about load shedding or whatever. I don't know. I'm also probably not educated enough about how energy science works to make a 100% factual statement of any of that stuff. I don't know. I just think it's nice to have options to solve problems. And people should try them. Satisfactory disaster in the Discord. Noted. Let's go check that out. Stuck myself between two trees. Austin Powers style. <laughs> 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 
I'm assuming you uh, you got yourself out of that. Uh, but you can also uh, you can delete the truck and just rebuild it, or you can get your chainsaw and you can cut the trees down. But um, that's impressive. <laughs> I don't know how you got it in there. All right. Uh, what else do we want to uh, take care of? Because I probably do need to get off of this pretty soon. We did get the train built. Start to finish. And it's working. Mostly. And it's uh, not completely hideous. It is definitely hideous. But it's not completely hideous. We got a lot of work to do with this. Um, but I think... I love how the dirt just goes away. We've made some nice progress there. Speaking of lizard doggos, let's go pay a visit to our buddy Meatball. Let's see what he's up to. I guess on a large enough scale with the photovoltaic stuff, that makes a whole lot of sense. But you have to have a huge amount, especially for something as power hungry as electric trains. But hey, you, you covered most of the right of way, even in just certain areas, and it almost certainly would work. All right, what's up, Meatball? Limestone. I actually can't pick that up because I don't have any slots, unfortunately, but appreciated. We need to build him a better uh, better condo here. Oh, can I... Uh, concrete foundation. Now at least he doesn't have metal. I don't have any other... I, don't, I can't do dirt or grass or anything, but that looks a little bit nicer. Instead of just that nasty metal, now he's got nasty concrete. And he's got a little berry if you can snack on it if he wants. Just chilling right here. But we will fix him at some point. Oh yeah, station, especially if it's like a like the big ones uh, like the uh, Shinkansen has. We got like shops and offices and stuff in it. Okay, you talking about car shelters in like an automobile or like for uh, for rail? Ah, uh, yes, AliExpress, hurricane resistant, customized polycarbonate, whatever. Yeah, sure, that's absolutely going to be available for twelve hundred dollars. Cool thing is with bifacial panels, it lets the sunlight through. So, oh, so you're talking about building like the entire roof of the building out of that. That's smart. Yeah. Uh, okay. They have these. Uh, they have these in downtown, uh, in Atlanta, and a couple of the car parks have the uh, the photovoltaic stuff, and at the airport as well. I guess if you if you did it the right way, it would probably would make a lot of sense. Okay, how full is the fuel storage uh, package fuel industrial containers? Um, pretty full. I don't remember how I got up there. I guess I was just walking and talking. Um, I'll take a look here. This, the station can only hold one stack at a time. That's full. This is, there's not a storage on the end, so that's why you see all this fuel right here. But this thing is probably pretty... F well, it's okay. It's a third full. Right, how much... Okay, this, this will get emptied out. How full is the rubber? Not very. So I think we're... Uh, I think we're doing okay. Got 83 of these things made so far. I wanted to overclock these, but I didn't have any slugs. All right, shall we, uh, shall we go slug hunting? Now I have the concrete, I can actually do this. Yeah, I, I need to do something that's not just staring at stuff and getting mad about trains. Let's go get the car. 
Lost your chainsaw. That's unfortunate. Oh, the car's all the way up here. All right. Manually making screws again. That's life. That's the way it goes. You want to put photovoltaic cells over the entire rail network? The entire rail network, like all the tracks. That sounds incredibly expensive. It would be cheaper to spend 10% of the energy cost of a rail operator on panels per year. But will they ever do that is the question. We haven't even been over here hardly at all. I'm not going to get out of this. This guy will just body me if I do. But I'm pretty sure we're going to find some slugs. Because we have, we have not really done anything over here. That and I want to be able to scan for hard drives, but we're not there yet. So there's a guy there we don't want. Alright, I don't think I'm going to get hit if I get out here. Oh, nice. There's one over in this direction. Or there was. Oh, literally right here. Can I even reach this? Or is it going to make me blow this thing up to get at the, uh, the power slug? Oh, hello. Where'd you go? Oh, uh, no space for hog remains. Okay. But it's not even giving me the option to pick up the slug. I can't. Surely I can't chainsaw this. All right. All right, I don't have my... I have my detonator. I don't have any uh, sulfur. I don't have any black powder. No, I don't think it's because the inventory is full. Um, but I will empty a slot. Yeah, I just... I can't get at this because this thing's in the way. I think I have to blow it up. But I don't have any bombs with me, so... Look what I found. Hello. We're back here. Get back here. All right, so that's not one I already had. All right, I got to get my leaves out. Oh, no, I don't have any pale berries. Oh, man. Berry. Hello. Okay. Where did our lizard doggo go? There he is. What's up, dude? I'm going to make you a peace offering. I promise not to run you over with my car. All right, now come eat this thing. Stupid idiot's already all the way over there. Jeez. What's up, dude? Come eat this. Greetings. D Doggo with long name. All right. Spaghettini, Parmesan, Meatball Parm, Garlic Knot. Let's 
So what do we want to what do we want to name this guy? Parmesan. All right. I had to remember how to spell Parmesan. I think that's how that's spelled. No, do not get the chainsaw. All right, so... Where's my car? I say when the car has a tracking thing that I just completely ignore. Let's not run over the dog. wonder if she'll follow. Where's the base, anyway? Over there. So maybe I need to go this way instead. Tell you what I'm not doing is I'm not walking all the way back. Maybe she'll just go somewhere we can follow her. Well, now I now I got to read back all these railway comments here. Belgium for over a decade has proven that photovoltaic panels over a single train line will cover almost all of its costs as it reduces line maintenance and downtime, pays for energy cost. How many miles of rail does Belgium have compared to a Japan? I feel like it's probably substantially lower. I don't know, that is interesting. I don't think she's coming with. I think we'll just let her do what she wants to do. And if she wants to come back and uh, live with Meatball, she can do that. But something tells me not going to want to stay in there. So we'll just have to kind of uh, go with the flow. Is that a... Uh that's a slug. Sure is. Do not crash the car into the water. Mark the slug. No, I don't need to mark it. I can't get to it. So it'll show up. Oh, there's another slug right there. Yeah, uh, there's enough happening in slug terms that I think we're going to be back here. And we'll, we'll find that again anyway. But this guy right here back here. Alright, that's done. Give me the slug. Oh, stupid. Not enough space for blue power slug. Alright, uh, do I have space in the car? I do. Oh, why do I still have all this garbage? I gotta recycle this. I don't want leaves. I want the slug. Alright. Get out of here. Where are, the, where are these stupid leaves at? Go away. Nobody wants leaves. All right. I need to go that way. We'll come back. Don't worry. If I can drive. That's uh, quartz we don't need. All right. We already uh, kind of saw some of this. We need to go this way. Mark short for Marcel. Hey, look, a slug. Hello. Ooh, we got alphas. Back here so I can kill you. Now I really gotta be careful not to die out here because this is gonna be very annoying to come back here to get all the stuff. 
Oh my god, die already. There. Now I can get the slug. He's fleeing France so to not be eaten. You have a very creative mind. A uh, bacon. Let's eat the bacon. Now I got space for slug. Kind of. There we go. It's detecting another slug. Do I dare? Wow, look, it's right here. Oh, I gotta blow this up to get at it. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, why can I not, um... Why can I not crouch? I thought I could, um, shift crouch. Did they get rid of that? Well, that's annoying. If they did. Uh, we, we can actually make ranged weapons. But I... Why can I... Did I... Did I miss... Keybinds? Hold the sprint. No. Oh, why is that? Um, no, that does not need to be C. Left shit. Oh, that's why. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'll hold down C like an idiot. All right now, I got my now I got my slugs. There are additional slug colors. There's a purple one. I've gotten a couple of those in the past. Now I can actually come back and uh, make some overclockers. And then I can overclock the production of the modular engines. Devilish. Okay, so... Oh, please land. Yes! Then immediately crash. That's fine. Oh! <laughs> okay. Alright. That's, um... That's fine. Is that thing going to get back on track? Yes. Alright, good. Oh, man, I didn't even do the, uh... I didn't do the supports like I wanted to. It's fine. I guess I didn't need to come all the way down here, but still sometimes kind of fun. All right. I need to make... I don't have any slots. Yeah, it's not going to like me doing that. Um, recycling. That's what I should have been doing. Full time instead of being down here. I got all sorts of garbage I can put in here. Um... What did I say I was going to recycle? Okay. Oh, no, I shouldn't recycle these. I can put those in for the beams. I can do the pipes, though. That's easy. Easy for the pipes. To Robot Wars. There was a game for PC from a long time ago called Robot Arena. Um, I played, I think, the sequel, Robot Arena 2. Uh, in college for a little bit with some of my friends who were like really into it. They were like, hey, let's all play the game. It'll be fun. And I was like, all right, yeah, this is kind of neat. But uh, uh, I was not good at that game. Uh, you, you build robots. It has like quote-unquote realistic physics. And you can have like weapons and stuff. And then you fight each other in an, in an arena. It was kind of cool. But yeah, I uh, absolutely would not trust myself to uh, do that in real life. I need to make proteins here. All right, and then we'll do DNA capsules. We'll get that recycled. And then uh, we can make our overclockers. 
And then we can overclock all that fun stuff. Where's the slug deal? Power shards. Yeah, blue is the most common, yellow is the next, and then uh, purple gives you five power shards. But that is an incredibly valuable thing. They're very hard to get to. Most of the purple ones you have to blow something up to get to, or they're in a very uh, difficult part of the map. There we go. Let's pop those in. Yep, now we got 19 coupons. I'm not going to print them because I don't have anything to spend them on right now. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, overclock the manufacturer here. We'll just go all the way up. But it's going to require five motors per minute. And we can't make five motors per minute. Not yet. But. Oh, I can't actually can't do that. I have to put it in the other one. Uh, I can just feed it into here. There we go. Now we jump started it. Now they can make 2.5 modular engines per minute. Which really in the grand scheme of things. When you still have to make another 400 is not that, uh, not that helpful. But it will make it quicker over time. Uh, I am slightly concerned that we might have too much smart plating. Did I turn that one off? I can't remember if I did or not. The slugs look like what now? Well, I have this paused anyway, so... Uh, the rotors are supposed to all be going... Wait, what? Why are they all piled up like this? I guess they have to be if the other rotors are going to go this way. Uh, this is waiting on screws. We never figured out why this is like this. Or I guess we did, and then we ignored it. Uh, this goes in up here into the screw area, and then this. Ah, yes. It's because of our steel beams. Well, I will just take all those out so this can continue going, I suppose. Then I just have to move all of this so we can get our screws taken care of. Honestly, it's probably not that big of a deal. We just need to use more of our steel beams. But for right now, I'm going to pop them in the uh, constructor over here. Then the rest all get recycled. And that's that. And then because I have to always have some on me, I will just go ahead and grab some more. But that should take care of all of that for us. Oh, this also doesn't have an output. That's probably why. I need to have an output for these, but I, for whatever reason, never made one. So I didn't have a machine that actually needed them, except I do all the way over there. Oh, there's a little tiny train. Say hello, tiny train. Hello, tiny train. All right, that's uh, that's enough of that. That's gonna be uh, filling up rather quickly. Because now it's uh, now it's backed up. Why? I guess because we're waiting on getting these. I really need to get the Mark V belts, but I can't until we have all these space elevator things done. So I guess that's uh, that's that. I think this is probably a good place to stop for the day. Uh, we got a lot done. Quite a lot done. We automated the uh, modular engines. We built the whole train thing. Uh, it is working very slowly, but it is working. And we found another lizard doggo. Don't know when or if we will see that one again, but uh, might might show up again. Uh, we have, uh, if you didn't see it this morning, a new game, Penguin uh, United Penguin Kingdom is what it's called. Um, people have been asking for that one for a while, and then the developer said, hey, here, you can have a key, and you can have early access to it. So I did. Pretty fun. All right, we're going to have a couple more videos of that. Uh, expect that one on Tuesday. And then if that gets a good response, I'll put another one out on Friday. Other than that, tomorrow we got Iron Teeth, 
coming out. I don't have a game right now for Monday. Still, I guess, treating that as my quote-unquote day off for uploading. Uh, but we'll get stuff figured out. I got other stuff coming up in the pipeline. Just have to figure out how to get uh, worked into the schedule, etc. Western Front or Tank Trade Tycoon? What in the world is a Tank Trade Tycoon? I'm not going to get an update 5 Water Beavers yet. I need, I need a detox from, <laughs> from a challenging Timberborn. So that one's probably going to be another couple weeks. We'll see. But, um... I don't know. If it is like a like a war strategy kind of thing, I'm probably not ever going to do anything like that on here. Maybe at some point a Twitch type deal, but generally not something that I really care to play that much of. I am not good at combat based things. Yeah, oh, I know. I know it's extremely challenging. We've been there. <laughs> been there, done that, gotten enraged. But yeah, uh, I'm going to go cook some dinner, and I will see all you lovely people back again at some point. Don't know uh, if I'm going to do a stream tomorrow or not. Depends on what else I've got uh, got going on. But appreciate you being here. All the support, as always. Uh, have a fantastic rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one.